<clears throat> what? Bro, people done win. Hey, I'm on level up. I didn't get top 10%? How? Jeez. Well, that's saddening. Dude, I had like 190,000. Bro. Hundred eighty thousand, dude. What the heck? I was like, oh yeah, I'm done. I don't need to do any more level up, dude. I should have. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right. Uh, let them. Let's see. How is this? Are they still doing their? Probably. These are the days, these are the days that we're aiming up. Alright, let me just burn, burn a little energy real quickly, like. Uh, let's see, do I need the bleeds in this difficulty or is it only the highest? I f always forget. I think it was only the highest that you needed the bleeds for, right? Nope, I need it for this one too. Fooey. Falloof! Alright, that's annoying. Uh, let's see. Let's throw in. Let's just do it with Nick Fury. Do the fight with Nicky Boy. We should hopefully have significantly less arena needing to be done today. Nope. Back it up. Back it up. Thank you. Yeah. Um, four star arena completely done. No four stars need used. So we can just focus on the featured and uh, go from there. So, Shazam! Um, something did seem weird though. How did I end up with full health there? Oh, is this is this hide or heal? It is. No wonder. Come on. Wow, didn't even have to throw the special. He done did dad. Get all this stuff on cools down. They're dying before. Like, I don't even need to <laughs> do that. I can just get to the special two a little bit faster and throw that, and I don't even need the double fury. Stop it. Big dumb. Dexy on those special ones, but whatever.
works for me. Work is it for me. we are like on good pace for arenas right now we should be able to actually still get some bgs in today burned. Hop in there. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Points are mad in the arena. They're wild! We hit so hard. What, 9k light attack. So much damage. So we're going to go over here and do these instead. Bam. All right. Let's keep going. Hopefully, <clears throat> with minimal distractional detours, we can get through the arena really, really quickly. Because it does tend to go fairly slow. Like, it can go at a particular pace, but, like... If you're not, like, on top of it, distracted, uh, it can take significantly longer. Like, it's 21 rounds for this to get through all the 7 stars. Which should be done in, ideally, less than 40 minutes. It should be uh, less than a, a 2 minute average, so you could do it maybe 35 minutes doing that many rounds. Which should to take only. 
we're already behind pace on that, so... Let's see what happens. Come on. Get wrecked. Get clapped, boy. Seven hundred damage in a block. Youch. That's painful. Ugh, six stars just go or seven stars go so hard on the points, man. It's insane. DJ Green. Uh, let's see. Are having six stars or hold materials for seven stars currently working on any point? It depends. Um, depends on the champion. Depends on. Uh, what seven stars uh, could potentially depend on the class um, like what you need to strengthen up class wise perhaps it, it really isn't gonna be the same for everybody um, I, I personally wanted to hold off mostly for for seven stars but um, there's still some very worthwhile six stars um, and you know Generally, if the, if the champ exists as a seven star, and I'm okay with not needing them for anything specific, I'm but they're good. I'm personally okay with with waiting to get that champion as a seven star. Um, champions that are at the peak, like very very good, and they don't exist as a seven star, and you can get good use out of them, rank them up. Um, unless you have a seven star of that class, that would be better than. Uh, what you're planning to rank up that doesn't exist as a seven star is the way I see it. Um, skill, I think, is a is a great example for a class of that. There are some great skill seven stars, but not like a lot. I think um, there's far more worthwhile six star skill champions than seven star ones to put the catalyst into. Um, Like Nick Fury, Kingpin, Kate, um, you know, uh, Zemo, even. I mean, he's quite good. I personally, I mean, I ranked five to him, and I'm going to ascend him, but I don't. But that's more because, like, he'll be good this season, and he doesn't exist as a seven star, and likely won't for some time. Um, but uh, I personally don't really care for him. Um, and there's, you know, always, always the exceptions. If, if you can not, if you don't need them for something, or don't need them ranked up for, like, Battlegrounds or whatever, what have you, um, um, because generally, I mean, those kind of resources are far more limiting. Like, if, if you can hold off, I personally do, but it depends on your, your goals, how you play the game, etc. I would say. Um, but that could mean putting off having a champion at a high level that you would otherwise really want um, for quite some time, potentially. Playing it that way. Uh, and that's... not everyone enjoys that. It's, it's obviously not super enjoyable when that happens, because uh, if it does take super long, like I mean, Bishop, for example, for me personally, I didn't get a seven-star bishop forever. Like I had just ranked forward the um, the six-star right when the seven stars got announced. Basically, and I was like, "Well, you know, great." Now if I like pulled him as a seven-star, it'd immediately be better, you know. So I didn't want to rank him up any higher, um, and I never did. Um, but it took me forever to get um, uh, a seven-star bishop. Same with Domino. Domino I had ranked up, maxed out. Um, when she came out as a 7 star, like, well, I don't want to 
put any more resources into the six star really, so I didn't. Um, Korg was announced. I wanted a seven star Korg. I only just got him pretty recently, uh, so my six star never even actually made it rank four. He's only rank three. Um, but that's that's how I've played my account. There are for sure champions uh, worth it. Especially if you think like time scale, even like oh, especially as the seven star pool is getting bigger, uh, there there are definitely even champions that do exist as seven stars. I would say worth ranking up. Um, also dependent on like how important their sig is. Photon for one. I personally did the I maxed out the, the six star because of her importance of her sig. Um, so even if I had gotten the seven star, it being unawakened. Um, now it doesn't matter if I get a photon. Like, the, only, the only way a, a seven star photon is better for me is if she gets duped, which I need to pull her twice. Um, and would go to rank three. And there's science champions I would rather take to rank three over. So. The six star will last me a very long time. So there's just different things to think about. Um, when you when you go through that process of like what uh, what you want to rank up. And, and again, that's like how some people will do it. You know, it's like, but y'all, I mean, it's always it's often the case like. I don't, because the, the thing is, if I take them up too far, or, you know, if they exist, I take them all the way up, I send them, and then I get the seven star that I would have otherwise wanted to rank, uh, now will be absolutely worthless to me as a seven star until they get to rank three, if I have the six star ascended version. Because a, a six star ascended champion is stat wise, I mean, you, you lose that on the, on the challenger rating, but the stat wise, it is basically equivalent, for all intents and purposes, it is it equivalent? to the um, uh, seven star rank two, which means because of Sig, um, would, will be better than the seven star until the seven star would go to rank three. Is the way I see it. Crap, that was... Um, but what's up, Soul Skulls? Whoa. Um... And sometimes that can be due to like, again, the the stipulation is like, okay, what are, what are, how high is the like how low I guess is the chance of be like what are the chances I get the, is that the seven star version, you know if they if they only exist in the Titan, I'm not getting Titans very fast and that champion's not going to come to the basic, for who knows how many months, um, and then once they're in the basic, the basic's pretty big now, um. I'm not getting seven stars exceptionally quickly, but subs I mean, fairly okay. Um, what are the chances I even get them there? Um, how important is their sig? You know, there, there's other factors. Um, um, like how how needed is this champion? You know. Like, can I make do? Because resources are limited, I can only take up so many champions. Um, if I can get away with not ranking them up, even if I do want them, you know, Korg, Korg was a great example for me. I would love to have a Korg in my deck, but because of the seven star, I didn't want to throw the resources into the six star. Um, so I'm just like, I'll just make do without him in my deck. Like, it'd be nice to have, but I don't need him. Uh, he's just basically a defender. Um, similarly with like Killmonger, but I did get the se seven star and I, you know, ranked him up. Um, then you have, you know, Sasquatch as well. Um, is, a, is another one like I can made do without him. Once I got him, he's one of my, you know, best as a seven star. Yeah. 
Um, it's it's not always as simple as, as do or don't. There's there's a lot of factors uh, and trade offs uh, for whatever the decision ends up being. Uh, let's see, but for me taking Vox to rank five, I don't think we'll send him only because he is a seven. So that's where I think drawing line between rank and not rank. Yeah, and 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 right now the the materials are also and that was also like part of that is the materials were being slower. Um, they're they're common enough now the resources for getting a seven star rank two or you know the T the T six C are so much more um, less valuable because they're more common that I'm not as hesitant on, on this particular matter. Like I will, I'm still taking up more because before, like I was like, well, seven stars are the future. Like because those catalysts are so hard to come by, I wanted to go towards the seven stars, um, first. Um, but now they're kind of going to both. And like right now I, I have tons of catalysts that, um, could be going, to seven stars, but like, I don't have the seven stars I really want to use them on, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll do the six stars, you know? So, it, it's, it depends on kind of where you're at and what champions you have to work with. Um, for all intents and purposes, I basically have all six stars to work with. Um, and then it's like, okay. Um, and that's kind of the dilemma at the moment is, is new champions because now that I mean, every new champion is is a six and seven star um, and they're adding more more champions to the to the pool so you you wind up in just kind of the dilemma like can you hold out like is this champion hold out of both for the seven star or are they are they so important to have right now rank up the, the rank up the six star because that you can get immediately via arena you know um, and if you're a spender, you can buy the six star, max them out. Um, do you want to ascend them? Are they going to be good enough at rank five? Are they worth ascending because they need their sig or something? There's a whole lot of factors, um, and it's going to be different for everybody. Um, sometimes it could it could be even if this champion is is objectively good, if you're not able to use them or you don't like the way they're used. Um, I think a great example is like Stark Spidey, or not Stark Spidey, um, well for some people it'll be Stark Spidey, but like Stealth Suit, he's an extremely powerful champion. Someone like Brian Grant though despises using him, recognizes he's like powerful, but doesn't like to use him so he's not going to rank him up. Um, I personally like him, he's very strong, I never got around to rank him up myself though, at some point maybe. Um, there's just so many in the skill class that I really, I love the skill class. There's so many that I really do like. Um, Brian's not a big fan of the skill class, which is like crazy to me. There's so many that are like a lot of fun and like really good, but whatever. Anyway, does not matter. He could be a very good seven star. I think he'd be a very strong candidate for it. Um, because of the way his SIG works though, um, an ascended max sig uh, would be significantly more strength than uh, like a an unawakened or only sig twenty seven star rank two. Um, so if you're wanting to just be that powerhouse, because he's not really a defender, so he does, and and he has the crit rate thing, so I don't think he needs. The stat focus, because that's another thing about seven stars. Like the stat focus is like a huge thing. It doesn't affect all champions equally, though. Um, uh, for the for the champions, it, it affects disproportionately well. The seven star variant, because of the stat focus, can add a ton of value, exceeding the need for a higher sig or or what have you, um, on occasion. See, personally, the, the photon is is one of the exceptions that um, that I made because um, at, at the time, um, and it basically was because of her sig. Uh, 
at, at the time, she was only in the tight. She's in the basic now, but only just got out. Come on, there, dead. Yes, maybe. We back. Um, game's still lagged out, but I think the stream came back. Um, um, Photon's one of the weird ones because of what her sig does. Um, I'd rather have a maxed out six star ascended over an unawakened seven star rank three. Um, now I'd have to work out some of the maths. I think at at sig. 20 possibly i'd have to look at the numbers i'd rather have the rank three uh photon but because you need her duped you'd have to pull her twice so like that's one of the ones like okay the odds are low enough i even pull her once at the moment out of a basic let alone twice um that could take who knows how long i mean could happen fairly quickly i mean you could pull her twice in a row like could happen but chances aren't great um um, uh, and like I was saying earlier with her specifically, um, because of, because of that with the six star and her sig, that would necessitate for like the seven star photon having to be rank three to be better than, than the, um, um, the six star counterpart. And there's science champions I would take to rank three over Photon, um, meaning the six star would be valuable for way long enough time over over anything seven star related. Um, three of them jugs, jeez. Uh, and again, stuff like that happens. Um, so with with Photon, I had no problem with it. Um, I think we're gonna wanna, I'm gonna wind up in a somewhat similar place with like um, some of the newer like really good ones like Destroyer I didn't care like if I get him as a seven star cool I think it'd be good he's not like exceptional enough I didn't care for Destroyer enough to get him and and rig him up so even even out of the next feature to I'll get him you know to have him for the collection I don't think he's gonna get ranked up uh, if I pull the seven star cool great he'll be at that level already. But I'm not, I don't want to dump the resource into a six-star destroyer personally. So it just kind of depends on the champions. Three infinity mans. Oof. Uh, I only have a couple champions in the basic that I've pulled more than once. Uh, well, more than twice. Uh, meaning they're they're six forty. I don't have. I don't have a single basic champion. I only have one Sig 60, and he's not in the basic. Um, I only have one Sig 60 champion. I have like three or four Sig 40s. The rest, if they're duped, have only been pulled once. Uh, one dupe of. Oh, you better... I mean, you got all a, a whole 24 hours, basically, Juan. You got plenty of time. You got time. You can make it. I mean, you've already done 70. If you stop now, you're definitely not going to get it, and you'll only get a, a five-star. Uh, you might as well push as far as you can. And, uh, like, if you stop now, you're guaranteed to not get it. Um, if, if, you, if, if you keep pushing and still miss, at least you... You know, had a, a chance. Uh, you're guaranteed to not get it right now. So keep going. Uh, Scorp can actually deal fine with not being maxed. Like low sig for him is fine. I, if you want to do the photon, I would. If you're going to rank her up, give her the six. Uh, if not, go ahead and, and do Scorpion. In my opinion, between between the two. Um, Photon's also really high prestige if, if she would affect your prestige in any way um, if you don't have like a bunch of 7 stars in your prestige already got 3 more rounds of about 18 mil oh, yeah, then you're plenty fine then 
That'll put you over a 120 mil. You should be fine. But you have to get all three rounds of 18 in. Let's see, where am I going to be after this? I'm going to be at, what, one... I could be about 115 after I'm done with th with this this afternoon. Could be roughly. I think I think we'll go to about 114. I really like Foden. She's fun to attack with. I like her even questing in for like science stuff. She's, she's really good. Um, um, she's she's been like getting clapped by certain champions like defensively, so she's not like near as good of a defender as she used to be. Uh, now that she's you know people learn to fight her better and stuff. But if you're using a not an ideal option, it's very easy to mess up too. And if you mess up, it's very punishing. Um, so, um, but if you want a photon to have for your deck, I, I highly recommend. I still very much so like her. Specifically Act 8. Um, I use mine a little bit in Act 8, but she, there's other options. Act 8 doesn't require a whole lot of very specific options, like the, the, the amount of champions. You don't need like that many. I use like all a bunch of different champions, but like just for you know different uses basically. You could champions that serve the same purpose. You can just like reuse, you know. Ooh, dupe destroyer, nice. Uh, very, very nice. I'd rank to him as, as a 7 star. I wouldn't rank him up as the 6 star. But, I pulled the 7 star, I'd, I'd give him the rank up. Especially duped. I haven't had the chance to actually play around with him at all. But he seems he seems fun. Spider, yo, what's up? I, I'd say Destroyer is about like a, a Danny Moonstar kind of equivalent Mystic Champion, probably. Like, okay in certain situations, but outside of that, kind of mid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's going, it's going good, Spider. Um, I personally do, DJ, uh, because, like, we don't push competitively in war. Um, and I have just a butt ton of loyalty. Um, so. Uh, thing or Luke Cage, Dust or Midheart. True. Very true. Her, her dupe is, like, I, I got her, you know. Uh, and I, I'll rank her up to rank two at least if I do for her, because she's like she's a Nick Fury counter. Um, but whether or not she'll make a deck will kind of depend on the meta. She's not gonna make all decks by any means. Yeah, she can hit some pretty solid numbers, but if she doesn't get the crits and stuff. Like, it, it falls off pretty hard. Uh, 
Um, is she X Magica? She might make the deck just for uh, weeks three and four, maybe. But I don't know. We'll see. But Danny is? I mean, a duped Danny, I'd say, is worth rank two. Undupes. I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't counter Nick Fury. Um, not e as e as she technically actually the way they changed her, she could actually still do Nick Fury's. Um, but to line it up properly would be significantly more difficult. And would probably wind up being slower, maybe. Not sure. I'm not. I haven't actually tested it. Haven't actually tested it. But yeah, I've got, I've got loads of resources myself at the moment. Onslaught, Onslaught's pretty good. Um, and what do you what do you mean her PI worse than Onslaught? Onslaught has uh, a higher prestige than uh, Onslaught's the highest prestige champ in the game. Like prestige doesn't always equivalent to to PI, but like he has the highest prestige in the game. Rank two, Danny Desire. It, it would maybe at the Sig too, but like overall, um, at, at end, um, it's just like how like Sunspot at rank two has one of the highest as well, but like at the higher ranks, like he falls off. Uh, for PI, yeah, Prestige, no. <laughs> He's he has stupidly high PI. It is ridiculous. But yeah, if we go to Prestige. Um, yeah, no, even at rank 2, at max sig, Onslaught is, is above Danny. Sunspot is above Onslaught at rank 2. Uh, at sig 20, it's Gambit at rank 2. And then Sunspot, then Onslaught, still above Danny. Um, at rank 3... Onslaught is above Sunspot, still below Gambit at rank uh, at Sig twenty. Um, Onslaught doesn't overtake Gambit until. Dang. <laughs> Not until Sig one forty. Sheesh. Takes a hundred and forty Sigs. Uh, equi like equivalent. Uh, if, if they're both the same SIG, Onslaught doesn't take over Gambit until SIG 140. That's insane. Gambit is ridiculous PI. It dry, like, Gambit falls off at SIG 200. Gambit falls down to 10th uh, at max SIG. But, like, sheesh. <laughs> um, dang. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, relic relic adds to PI. We're cooking. Ooh, yo, what's up, Nugget? Cooking something delicious. Dude, I made some mac and cheese last night, uh, but I did it just ever so slightly. Um, 
uh, different uh, than like how I had been making it, and it turned out way better. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's... Yeah. Relics are added are like a perfectly additive PI. Um, like what their PI is 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 their prestige, um, which are not affected by mastery, and they are are whatever the PI of your relic is is what is added to the. Uh, it's directly added to the um, uh, PI. So if the relic is 500 or whatever, it adds 500 to whatever an un, a non relic the non relic would be. It doesn't change versus the. Uh, Yeah. But yeah, and PI is not prestige, so. Um, uh, they're only the same, one and the same, if you don't have any masteries applied. Because it's their base PI. Uh, let's do it this way. And undupes, you know, unless they are rank 3, they're not going to affect your prestige. Which again, in the grand scheme of things, prestige, unless you're playing top 10 AQ, doesn't really matter. It's <laughs> your onslaught of the robot. Yeah. Wow, that was my fault. Wow, okay, that one didn't feel like my fault. What the heck? You're dash you intercepted me with your special. You like dash backed special instead of letting yourself get intercepted. Thanks for that. What a dick. A dick! Yeah, we're going through these like so slow. How many more? How many more seven stars do I gotta go through? It's already taken almost forty minutes to do the ones I have, and it should take only about forty minutes to go through all of them. Should technically be less, but like, yeah. Lost the last match to some whale. <laughs> Ugh, so close too, so close. Uh, I should hit vibranium two today. Depending on how much we play, we might actually hit uh, GC, which might be slightly unfortunate. Ouch. Uh, but we'll see. I gotta play better than I did yesterday, though. Yeah. Today. I was five and two yesterday, which is not great. Oh come on! Well, he's still there. Okay. Seven and two is better than I did yesterday. If I did two more and won them, obviously we would have had the same record. But I only did. I only played seven. Don't auto vlog. Thank you. Yeah, it is. It is annoying though. Yeah, I've got about 
30, 30 more matches to play with Elder's Marks. Eat him ranked. I, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, did you not have the Catalyst or something? Why, why, uh, why didn't you rank him for level up? Are you just short the cats? And if so, why so? Six million. Yeah, I'll be about 114 after this round. Short on ISO. Really, the ISO is the full, uh, problem, too. That's understandable, honestly. Like, I'm short on some classes myself. Like, my mutant right now is, like, non existent. Because of, the, because of the Danny and then the Domino rank up. Uh, I also did. Weapon X to rank 5. Masakre! Yo, what's up, J Will? Um, excuse me. What's up? Uh, have you hit uh, GC yet, uh, J Will? with Masakre. The suspense is killing me. I'm waiting. Um, do you, are you one of the people that's liking the, the current meta or are you like, because a lot of people are disliking it in the GC right now. Um, my current BG Mastery setup, I... I don't have it's my, any of my mastery set up that way except for in BGs. Uh, don't hate it. At least you don't hate it. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Noisy. You're welcome. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how much I don't like it. Um, as it's looking like I'll probably get there sooner rather than later, unfortunately. Part of the problem is like that I hate going in so early is it's hard to find matches when there's not that many people in the GC. And it just makes it take longer to, you know, play. But it's like even more nuky with everyone running recoils, it seems, from, from what I've seen and heard. And crit. It's so satisfying to do. Super satisfying. I need this dude duped. Offensively, he just epically sucks without it. Defensively, he's just not annoying enough. Did box. Nice. Box is solid. It is not, uh, not a bad choice at all. Mine. I really dislike the Whoa, whoa, okay. He can do some pretty nasty numbers. With recoils, like, you can get the, um, like, the degen to be ticking, like, 25 on the last couple ticks, like, 25,000, like, ramp, ramped up a little bit, and if you time it just right, like, bro. It's pretty gnarly. At that level, I I can see that if you if you do it just right. 
I can see that. Should be pretty close on the sevens. Yep, okay, two more rounds. Cool. Still took way longer than should have. But what are you gonna do? He is a lot of fun. I do like him. I, I had a lot of fun with him using for a couple of times I used him in the Necropolis. Um, and I was actually very close to taking him up to rank two, but I was just like, I don't need to. Because, you know, it's like, I wasn't going to use him that much outside of it, and they didn't, like, he was working well enough at rank one that I just, I'd rather, I was just saving the resources, basically. Of his Dark Arc solo? Dang! That's, that's a little wild, actually. Sheesh. I can see it, though. Just SP1 spam. With the timing, you don't have to worry about the unblockable. I can see it. Nimrod, I think he, I think he could use the seven star to be honest. He fell off pretty hard as as a champion. I I had him at rank four for like ever, and then I just stopped using him for anything. Like he just stopped making my deck. Like he's not in most people's decks, even the people that have them like ranked up. Yeah, Shuri. I'd much rather use Shuri. Nimrod's probably faster for dominoes. Um, but yeah, Shuri. Shuri's just better for. Cause like that's Nimrod's fight, is basically dominoes. Like any other matchup. Cause any, he can't really do other mutants that are generally in. In BGs, like dominoes is his is his fight. And he's not good outside of the mutant class for, for matchups in BG specifically. Um, he can't do onslaughts because he does no damage. Um, and he's a robot, so he's going to take a crap ton of damage doing the fight, even. Um, he just doesn't have any enough good matchups. And good on defense, yeah. I mean, he used to be okay on defense. Nimrod used to be, but... Yeah, he used to be a, a pretty often defender. That was one of the reasons they ranked him up, you know? Come on, combo. Two more. But it used to be kind of annoying on defense, but... Um, uh, yes. Um, that's how I, I was actually... Like, it's cool that we got... Uh, oops. Uh, let's go ahead and just get these all helped out. Um, what I'm doing... There's four extra keys, so if you didn't end up wasting any because of, you know, messing up the, the quest or whatever on the first couple days before they changed it... Um, then you, there's, you have four extra, you're, you'll have four extra keys. Um, you'll, you'll want four tier, f uh, threat level four keys from the maze to do one vault of each week to get the extra, um, ascension dust. There's, there's 50 dust throughout the four weeks. Uh, there's like five week one, ten, then fifteen. And then, like, 20. I think that adds up, right? Yeah. That adds up to 50. Um, 
So we get making the total, which we haven't had because they've not been letting us get like the lower difficulty ones too. This will be the first month in a few months that we've actually have gotten 250 ascension dust because of it uh, for the month. Yeah, one key per week in the vault. Um, I already have all four, because I went ahead uh, and did four runs of the maze, two in each of the current uh, available weeks, um, because there's only two paths in a week that contain also the uh, the calf shards. So, however you want to split that up. And then there you go. You have then maximized the uh, the value of the keys. To, to technically get the absolute most value of the keys is the ascension dust actually goes to your inventory as soon as you cross it. Um, so on the final week four, instead of going and completing the, 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 the dust path, get the dust, have it go to your inventory, restart the quest, and get the six star shards. Um... Uh, technically, that would be doable in, in the other weeks as well. Which I think I will do, just for the extra shards, because why not? Um, but I had already like completed the first two weeks that way, before I realized it. So, so weeks three, the current week, I will get the dust and then do that. Uh, precision and cruelty mess? Yes. That's like standard. What kind of what kind of question is that you saying? It's like standard. Everyone should have those masteries unlocked. Um, that's just how it's currently designed because the dust doesn't go to the uh, it goes directly to your inventory um, rather than to the like get when com quest completed part like the shards do um, th that might not be intentional but that's how it currently exists um, it's just the way it's coded so heck if I know That's the way it exists. Um, if it exists that way, it's you know Kabam's fault for coding it that way. Whether they meant to do that or not. I mean, all you'd be getting extra out of it is a, is a few thousand six-star shards. It's not like it's game-breaking anyway. Actually, before I finish running through all these, I need to do something. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run the uh, the five stars first. All right. Let's see if we can get you to. Thank you. Nope, I missed it. I think I missed it again. It's right. Nope. It's right. Nope. It's right. Nope. It's after he dashes. God, I'm trying to get him to do the switch thing. Nope. There we go. Got it. I know how it works, but actually getting it to line up is is a little bit tricky. I 
I mean, quite frankly, I think it's no more of, of like an exploit than the the restarting last month to go do all of the, uh, the lower uh, solo objectives. It's the way they designed it to work. Taking taking advantage of the way something is designed. Um, so long as it's not like clearly like bugged design, exploiting a bugged design um, is one thing. But like taking advantage of say way something is specifically designed that's like purposeful um, and not like a bugged kind of like interaction, I think is totally fine. That's that. You sometimes learn a thing uh, or two when you, uh, uh, like min max, kind of trying your rewards and stuff. Yeah, they're probably like what? They're kind of expensive, like early on. Like they're what, like five stony master cores each or something like that. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's like a standard part of the build, though. Oh my gosh. Because they just existed for so long, it's it's kind of hard to remember. Uh, or it's easy to forget, rather, not hard to remember. It's easy to forget that they're actually kind of expensive. Uh, need them? No. Should you? Yes. It's a lot of precision. No, it's just it's just to unlock, and then it's it's you're fine for all all of it. Have you been play seriously been playing all this time and not had those masteries being used? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no, it's five to unlock and then it's all the levels are unlocked. You just need the mastery point. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's uh, an initial unlock. We can double check because there's this wonderful website called Aunt May that uh, it'll tell you exactly how much it costs to unlock a thing. Five to unlock and then it's unlocked all the levels. Yep. Five to unlock and then you have unlocked all of it. Shazam. Problem solved. Um... Did I accidentally run a six star? I did run a six star team in there by accident, didn't I? Five stars. Or no, I was still using that. Never mind. I was like threw myself off. Got me all confused and distracted here. Anyway. Yeah, no. No, it's it's 125 units per. Or no, it's 135 units for a core. And you need five to unlock the mastery, but then all levels are unlocked. You lying, dog! No, you lying! What? Yeah, the, the precision is actually a lot. Because between lesser and like the 425 from maxed out like full precision it's 450 from just your masteries and if you look at a, a champion say with let's take um 
Let's take Kingpin as an example. His crit rate sucks. So it would, like, disproportionately, because of diminishing returns, affect him very differently. But his base crit rate is, uh... Uh... 367. Uh, let's take a quick second. Um, so 367, if you go to... Uh, stat focus tab. Uh, 367 with uh, maxed out is a 150 challenge rating. It's only a 14% crit rate. Uh, add in your mastery is 450 uh, with le the 25 from lesser and 425 from, uh, we'll call it greater, whatever. Uh, puts you at uh, 817. Um, goes from 14 to 26.6% crit rate. <laughs> Which is very substantial. It's a lot of crit. Crit damage. Um, also, it's, it's like a lot as well. It's what, like four? It's a lot. Um, but the higher base crit damage, like because of diminishing returns, the less it'll affect that champion specifically, but it's also a good bit. And champions that get like cruelty in their base kit as well, they get effects less. The champion like Ghost doesn't really need it because um, their cruelties are so potent. Corvus very similar. His cruelties are so much that the mastery doesn't want to affect his damage that much. That much. But yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, that was like equivalent seed. Cool. Pretty close to it, at least. rounds of grinds I'll do. Uh, I've got... I mean, I need to finish this one, which will be the... Um, whatever. Um, there's still the majority of, of this round, and then one more full round uh, after that, so... Not quite two full rounds to, to grind. How many, how many of, of us are actually doing the grind right now? I feel like there's a lot of the alliances. We've got like several of us actually doing it. Though I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one doing the grind and doing all the milestones and all the other ones too. Uh, why does this feel off? What's. Something's wonky here, but did I dupe somebody or something? Uh, oops, no, that goes. I don't know. All three are in at zero. See, that's your own fault. Uh, I am at ninety. I'm just shy of a hundred mil. Just shy of a hundred mil. For the 30th. Yeah, the, that one it takes like 
six rounds to get 30 units. Totally worth it. It's like 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, there's there's almost always a catalyst to reload. There's technically like a an off day each every two days. There's like it's in between. You know, the one doesn't start up when the other one ends. It starts the following day. So. You're at 100, 100 mil with two four rounds. I'll be at about 114 by the time I finish the current round, and then I'll I'll have one one round to go. Yes, there's currently one active. Hundred and seven mil. Two full rounds ago. Dang. You're go you're gonna wind up going way, way over what you're gonna need then probably. I don't wanna go like I mean I could technically go higher. Uh, like I could do I could get up and do get rounds in, like get some fights in before the arena ends. I'm not going to. Like I'll after tonight I'll be done. Um I'm not gonna do another full round. Bleed, baby, bleed. Need it since you can't crit! I shouldn't have tried this. We're not going to finish. We're dead. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. We're not dead. Oh my gosh. Can't believe we didn't die. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, the four star reading is already done. This one's, I mean, basically done enough. I would, I would hit probably the ten, the five to ten percent mark. But we're feeling good enough. I think I can go for the the one, one to five percent. Rank five Mephisto, really. And torch and city again. Nice. Then nice. Probably terrible idea. He's energy. Ugh. Havoc might kill me. He might kill me. That's okay. That didn't do as much as. Oh, no, it did. We're dead. We're so dead. And those bleeds are potent. Shazam. Oh, well, well, well. What are you, uh... What are you willing?
the fact that I died, probably, I would assume. Come on. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, it happens. I think that's bad. I've already lost my streak in this arena twice. And I lost it in the featured once, too. It's not been a great round. Not been overly fantastic. Building up a streak with only five stars was a little bit of annoying. It was not pretty. has something to do with how many prowess he has. I think if he has like 5 plus prowess then they're unblockable. I believe? I would have to double check that though. What a noob! It, look it up! We can look it up! See if I'm right. I'm not super confident in my answer, but like, I'm... I'm like... 70-30 maybe on it? I'm not like, yes, I'm like 100% sure. I'm like, I very well could be wrong, but like, I'm also like, could be right, you know? Seven plus, okay. I was right it had something to do with the prowess, I was just wrong at how, how many it required. Basically, just because I was like deducing like what the requirements are for it to activate, rather than actually knowing it from the description. It was like, well, I kind of know what causes it, uh, so I just kind of like, okay, it requires him to have the prowess. How many does he need? Well, I was thinking, well, he can get five up to when he does the heavies and throws a special. Um. And you're generally not doing that many before he throws one. His first special is never unblockable. But his second one and after generally are. Um, yeah, anyway.
Ugh. So, but yeah. So it has to do with his prowess. I generally not like thinking about what's actually triggering it anyway, and just like seeing if it is or isn't, and um, when it when it happens. Not rather rather than like okay, I'm planning for it to be or it not to be. I I make that decision once I realize if it is or isn't, <laughs> which gives you less time to react to what the decision you want to know. But like if you know ahead of time, like okay, this is what I'm going to do if it is unblockable, or what I'll do if it isn't, and have that aligned rather. Uh, it's, it's less important to know if it is or isn't, and just knowing whether or not if it is, you do a particular thing, and if it isn't, you do a different thing. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so... Always a matter of perspective. But you were a couple minutes behind. That tends to happen on occasion. Oops. Thought I got the bear in there. Dang. Come on. Let me parry, please. That would be great. you want about Gabar? I want that. Let's say 17,000. It did. <laughs> that was a fat special one. Also, like a really substantial like boost to the um, battle chips doing grinds like this too. Korg or Monger? Mm, I think personally, I'd rather Korg. Yeah, I think I'd rather Korg. Uh, fiery Punisher. Oh, the Glycan, the boss. Uh, I think it looks super cool. The fight's okay. It was. I had a bit of a rough time of it though. So do I. So do I. Korg isn't uh, tactic though, is he? Kor uh, Killmonger, I think. Or Killmonger, I believe, it is right. I'd have to look at how they scale. I think Monger would probably benefit more from them specifically. I'd rather just save the gems though and put them on like Domino. I think Domino would be better than for Sigwise than uh, Monger, but I'd personally hold. But up to you. I'm in no rush to use mine. Yeah, I know Monger is, but I don't. I don't think. Uh, no, is, is Danny is Danny is too. I guess they are both tactic. Gray dominant. What? Huh? 
C'est quoi Thin options, like, who cares? Hmm. Just because your options are thin now doesn't mean they'll be in the future. Like, there's... Why, are you, why do you want to sick them up right now? What, what, or is it going to help you? I mean, you could welcome to do it. It's gray in color, yeah, not duped. Neither is mine! She's not gonna be that way forever, hopefully, ideally. And if you could turn a first time dupe instead of instead of only being SIG 20 into SIG 70, that's pretty substantial. to use the six. Gray is and you don't own her. Okay. Um, gotcha. That's slightly different. But ideally, you'll get her eventually at some point. Anyway, there's there's just, I don't know, there's better champs that I'd rather use the gems on anyway. I think that's what I want to do, is I'll want to do the SIGs on Domino, just because I like Domino, and the higher the SIG will make her, like, better and better, so. That's what I want. Held it just a fraction too long. Well, it doesn't have to be Domino specifically. I'm just saying there's there's even other champions. That might could benefit more. I have no problem hoarding the the sigs. If you want to use them, use them. I mean, it's... don't let me tell you what to do with your six. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big like sig user kind of guy. Magicka... Magicka ones are pretty limiting. Not all of them exist as seven stars either. Alright, well he can't miss, so that's like a good matchup. I mean, they'll, they're, they're are getting, like, they already announced, like, that's official. Like, we are getting... Oh my gosh. Ah, shoot. Oh, we are getting ranked down tickets for 6 and 7 star Shocker. Shoot. Um... And it'll, but it'll give you, like, generic ISO and... You know, tech catalyst for it. You're not gonna get like a tech gem out of it. Now they wouldn't give out a generic gem for a rank down. You'll get tech catalyst, regardless of what it what you use. Like if you used a generic to rank them up, 
Like you'll get only tech catalyst back. They're not gonna do it that way. That's how it's always worked. You'll get generic ISO because that's what they always give. Um, and and the gold. So you're not gonna get tech ISO. You get generic ISO and and tech catalyst. It does slightly, uh, honestly. Uh, Unmei is. used by so much it's so useful specifically for oh jeez yeah the the tier 4 alpha like you still get the basic catalyst that you can use to do that but like the class stuff Part of the you know what what's needed for those rank ups is the generic stuff, and that's what you'll get back. But you'll still have like the high high level class stuff as well. Again, prestige. Yeah, we're just we're, we're literally one round of being short of ten mil. Like this this round will get us over ten mil. Um. I'm not sure what Destroyer's Prestige looks like. What the heck, man? Why is that popping through my Do Not Disturb? That happened yesterday, too. I'm very confused. But yeah, you'll, you you would at least get the the tier four alpha back. But again, that would suck if you happen to use like the generic gem from uh, like Abyss on 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 him. You'd only get you know like the tech catalyst back. But if you use like a tech gem, like you'd only be able to do a tech anyway. So like, who cares? Sierra hasta la vista, right? Clapped. Uh, the tech cats to rank the rank two. Seven sort of defenders, yeah, yeah. Especially when you know a lot of the big attackers just rip through six star defenders. Nick Fury still holds up a little bit because of the you know double life thing, but outside of that, some they just get clapped. They tend to just get clapped. Uh, I mean, I don't think I have a lot of, like, defensive seven stars ranked up myself. You, you wind up fighting a lot of the same, same stuff sometimes, but, like, it's all part of, like, for BGs, it's more of like any individual fight and more like the strategy of of the draft and, and placement and order and stuff rather than like who I'm needing to fight. So like who I'm who I'm gonna fight even if I'm doing it like a lot of matches doesn't really bother me. There, for a while there I was like fighting a maestro like every single round. I don't fight him near as often anymore. But I don't mind fighting him. I would I would rank three guardian even on awakened. Wow, that 
fingers stuck on that one. Do you not have like a Shuri? I'd take a Shuri up to rank 3 too. You don't want two unawakened ones? I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Read. It does hurt to like have like the highest ranked champions you have because they'd be in your prestige. Like once you already have like a full set of prestige, like rank threes, I I'd be like, okay, if they're unduped, they're unduped. They wouldn't affect my prestige anyway, sort of thing. Um I'd be happy about it, like, but until you hit that point, like yeah, it definitely feels bad. Why you got so many unduped, man? <laughs> like, for reals. Dude, I love having Shuri duped. Like, what it allows her to do with blocking unblockable specials is so nice. By no means needed, but like, it's so nice to see it. And actually have that particular utility, because it's super strong utility. I'm kind of hoping Maestro is going to be like the first like exclusionary champion they give also someone er else somewhere else so we can get him duped and we don't have to like have to use a future like gem on him especially since a 7 star awakening gem still has never existed and I don't know if I'd want to have him be like the first one like down the line once they're like slightly more common sure but like I don't know that like a first time I'd want to give to him specifically necessarily So I'd like if they could do like another slant of like challenge -y thing where like if you have Maestro already uh, and then use Maestro for some challenge, kind of like how they did it with Deathless Gilly for the dupe, that would be cool. Because he is like an offensive kind of champion too. Like a fu future challenge, but it would have to be permanent so like people could like, you know, do it. Uh, some kind of permanent future content where you're like you'd have to still 100% necro and you could get him duped by doing this challenge with the maestro. That would be cool. I'd like to see that. It would have to be tough though. I'd have to look at the at the list. There's a lot actually that I feel like would make really good seven stars that are not necessarily like top of the line, but being seven stars would push them up significantly from where they are as six stars. Um, um, Claire actually would be one of them. Claire I think would make a great seven star. 
Um, she's quite strong, has a ton of utility, but lacks a little bit on the damage. And I think a seven star plus like stat focus would really help with that. Um, Claire would be fantastic. Um, who who else? I do I do maybe. Probably would actually have to rank him up at that point because uh, Iceman. I don't think he'd be too bad. He really wants high sig though, so I'd be okay with not seeing him for a little while. Um, let's look at the, the list of champions. Let's go. Let's go class by class here. So science. Um, let's see. Red Hulk actually would make a fantastic seven star, dude. I would actually really like that. Red Hulk, dude, that would be solid. Red Hulk, we fire. Um, there's actually a lot of the science are, are seven stars. A lot of the best ones are seven stars, actually. Um, I I Hulk maybe. I Hulk could be cool. Um, doesn't need the dupe. Wouldn't be really be a BG's champion, but he'd be a monster for questing. Oh my gosh, would he be a monster quester? Um. Torch they won't do because like his pre-fight is super strong and they they don't like that. But um, I think I think Red Hulk and I Hulk probably top sciences. Um, I actually wouldn't mind seeing Modok either uh, and I Bomb. So I think maybe those four. Uh, I Bomb would be really cool. Also doesn't need to do, but it's also really really nice to have. Quite helpful. Uh, let's see, skill. Skill might be a little bit tougher. Um, maybe Black Widow Deadly Origins. Moman's seemingly probably going to be coming, so he'll we'll take him off the list. Kingpin's pretty strong. Uh, Crit Monkey. Crit Monkey, I would love to see as a 7 star. Uh, Gwenpool, I don't think would be terrible as a 7 star. Um, Stealth suit. We did talk a little about him. Squirrel Girl could be interesting. She kind of wants Sigs, though. Same with Taskmaster. Um, maybe Thor Rags could be interesting. There's actually a lot of kind of top... Uh, skill class has a lot of, of uh, seven stars already in it. Um, so that needs to be less focused on right there. Uh, mutants... Mr. Fantastic, really. Okay. Uh, spring cleaning is all is all cash offers. You get a little bit of the currency uh, for like in the mail and then by doing via arena, but it's basically just just uh, a spending kind of event. Um, okay, so then mutants. Um, actually, wouldn't hate to see Apoc come as a seven star. Um, I think he, he could be. I don't think they will just because of like his his pre fight. But like as a champion overall, I don't think he's that strong really on his own. Like he can be, but like he takes the ramp and you know synergies to really make him crazy. Which in just in a small quest, um, you know, is, is it disproportionately kind of makes him not as good as other champions are. So I think Apoc wouldn't be terrible. Um, Magneto could be really strong. I wouldn't say to see him. Kitty Pride also, I wouldn't mind seeing. Um, as strong as she is, I, I, she kind of fell off fairly hard. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing her as a seven star. Although because of what she can do, I, I doubt they will anytime soon. Um, Toad, Toad be fine. Um, um, all the storms already are. So that's not a whole lot in, in Mutant either. Mutant's a smaller class, and there's already a lot in there. 
that are pretty solid options. Uh, Archangel, I, I don't see him coming anytime soon, so. So a I'd say APOC, Kitty, Magneto maybe, I'd like to see. Um, depending on how they tweak Mr. Fan uh, Mr. Sinister, they'll probably be adding him as a 7-star. Uh, I could see that. But uh, Tech, Fam, I really like. He'll, he'll probably come as a 7-star at some point. Uh, Red Skull already is. Punisher 299, maybe. Omega Sentinel, again, uh, if, if the leaks are... I mean, that she'll be coming. Um, Nimrod... Because of the dis dis design complications, because of what he does to mutants, I feel like they probably won't for him for a while. But the way they've been designing a lot of mutants, um, and just like how he functions versus any other class, I wouldn't mind seeing him, but I think Kabam would, would have a problem with that. Um, um, Vulture maybe, Viv I think would be fine, um, Star-Lord would be fine. Um, Ghost actually would be, I think, okay. Um, because of what her SIG does for her, um, just having the extra attack of VA having a 7 star I think would be great. And the stat focus for like crit damage, or special damage. <laughs> so I wouldn't actually mind seeing a Ghost either. Um, let's see, Cosmic... CJR is too strong, so definitely not him. Gallon could potentially be interesting. Um, he's probably going to be a little ways out, though. Um, Medusa, I think, would make a, a solid one. Hulkling, I think, is too too strong at the, for the time being to come back as a 7-star right now. Um, Groot needs an update, and then he could come as a 7-star. That would be cool. Um... Kind of same thing with like Proxima. Like she needs she needs change because like the way she works, she's like one of the strongest champions in the game. But there's nowhere in the game to actually let her loose, which is rather saddening. Um, Icarus, I could see coming back. He's not. He's like fairly strong. Uh, Drax, I could see coming. Um, Colip's sitting action would be really nice. Having the block efficiency stat focus for him would be really helpful. Cole would be actually really cool. Um, Dupe is really nice, doesn't need it. Um, but it's like super, super great to have. And then last but not least, Mystics. Red Mags would be, yeah. Um. Yeah, after, after after his buff for sure, but like I could see Mr. Sinister coming pretty soon because they're buffing him. Alright, throw it. Two. Kitty, Kitty is a little bit on the more boring side. I, yeah. All right, and then Mystics. Let's take a look, quick look at Mystics. Doom's pretty strong in the way. I don't see him coming back anytime soon. To be honest, I still like Doom though. Um, I said I was saying Claire. Claire would be fantastic. OG Ghost Rider. Um, he's he's fairly well balanced. I can see him coming. Um, uh, OG Guillotine. I could see her coming. She's quite fun, actually. I wouldn't mind her. Um, we actually have a lot of mystics. Um, as seven stars, sheesh. Um, I think that's about all the list I'd, I'd care, care to see. Dormammu, maybe? Maybe tweak him slightly? Uh... Um, it's like that. I think those would be like the big ones. Claire, uh, Ghost Rider, Guillotine, 
Maybe Dormammu. Voodoo, Voodoo be okay-ish, but he, he has to be duped to be usable. Unawakened, he's completely unusable. Um, he wants also high sig, but like he at the very least needs awakened, otherwise he's completely worthless. That's probably what they'd do. Um, we'll, we'll hit BGs when we're done with Arena. That's how it's been going. We're on the big grind. If we weren't on a big grind and didn't need to like do so much Arena, it would be a slightly different story, but... Dang, that was... Just die. Um, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there! Um, so... Have patience, my young Petawan. BGs! Yeah. Um, keep an eye on my score. We're gonna about be approximately hitting 114 mil. Um, so another like 12 million to go. And that's when we'll be done with, with these guys. And then we can do a couple BGs. What? Kurt, they what? They sounded nothing alike. Why would Kermit the Frog say that? Or Peterson? I have no idea. Kermit, besides, Kermit the Frog is more like, Kermit the Frog here. Um, more like, anyway. Yo, what's up, Redwood? is really easy to do.
There's there's a few that I can that I can do, okay. Ooh, somebody done leveled him up. Well, he's not maxed out though. He ain't even maxed. Get out of here. on the profile. Yeah. Before we hit up any BGs, I'm gonna have to wash my hands because they're getting like sweaty just all the arena. We just chilling, we vibing right now, we just chugging along. Like next round, so like tomorrow arena, like we can take like super super chill, because they both neither of them matter. Um for anybody that doesn't have a kingpin, do that grind. Get yourself a kingpin. He's in the arena tomorrow. Hundred percent. If you don't have a kingpin, get yourself a kingpin. Yeah, the four, the four to five's on. Yeah, I still have to use a one to two as well. I need to figure out who I'm gonna use it on. I'm not sure. Cause I have I have enough cats. I can do a rank two of any cat or any class with catalyst. But I also have to use a one to two gem. <laughs> Next level up. So I need to figure out exactly what class I need to rank up the most in. And like yeah. Trying to rank for. Interesting. When the seven star Ultron exists? I mean, come on. That could happen any day now. Um, no, seven star Ultron is like. Oh, man. So, it's such a rare champion. I do like Ultron though. Um, I would really like the seven star. I don't want to rank up the six star, but I'd be very happy getting the seven star. Rumors raid chest this week. Dang. Dude, I have gotten nothing but crap from the chess. I've gotten no Titan shards. I've gotten basically all minimum values of everything. I've gotten half. Uh, of a T6C like once, maybe t at least once, maybe twice. The rest have been the minimum 25%. And I've gotten uh, 1500 7 star shards once, once a, a raid as well. Um, depends on. 
the um, the champion. Um, basic. It's always gonna be lower, but part of that is due to like um, you get fewer points for the for the champion's run in the basic, as opposed to the featured. Like six stars don't give you as many points as they do in the featured. Um, but also by the time they come around to the basic, most people already have them and they're less sought after. So let's go to the basic. Um, but depending on the champion, I mean, Werewolf by Night went for 20 million in the basic. That's not at all bad. Thing less than 15, Iron Man was less than 15, Longshot was less than 12, Gladiator was under 18, um, Cersei was less than 12, uh, Vox went a little high, he, he was um, more like 20, uh, round 1 was like almost 25, uh, round 2 was like 20, Karnak went for less than 11, Photon went... Uh, you know, high again. Um, but, like, the, the older champions go for dirt cheap, you know, 12 to 15, you know, basically, kind of numbers. And, like, the more, the newest run back of, like, actual, like, featured to basic. Um, so, like, the newer uh, first time to basic uh, kind of champion, they usually go 20 to 25. So it just kind of depends. Why? No, that would be a waste of a 4 to 5 gem. If you have the, the 7 star already. There are certainly better options. She is very good, but now that, that'd be a waste of a rank five. Well, the problem is I can't save a one to two gem. I have four of them. One of them is in overflow at the moment. If I don't use it, it expires. <laughs> I can't hold on to it. Um, Or you can always like hold hold one of the four to fives for like a future um, six star champ that's like really really good. Right now, Prowler's pretty good. Um, can always save it for something like that. Um, Spider Punk also seems like it's pretty good. Um, depends. Right now, if I were only using. Um, like the top of my of my seven star or like my six stars, my top fifteen rounds gets me a little over two million. So that would be the top ones ten times for fifteen. So it'd be about one hundred and fifty rounds. Be, be I mean, if you it'd technically be less than that, it would less be one hundred and fifty rounds to do twenty million points. And I've done almost 400 in this round, and in this arena. So 
so realistically it wouldn't be that bad. For for what? What offers are you talking about? Gem uh, offers for units in the game. Gem offer. What gem offer? What you on about? Talking about like the the rank up gems for like the rank five gem for like ten thousand units for a six star <laughs> that that thing uh, that have like the yeah those yeah uh, I don't think there was even ever one four seven stars. It was, it only, it maxed out at like ranking up like a rank 5, 6 star for like 10,000 units. They were atrocious. It was like early on, it was like maybe, but then like once they became like more common, it's like gross. Yeah, they're pretty rare just because there's so many other better sciences and better, like, defenders. He's not that much of a defender, he's good attack. Like, if I it would depend on the meta, like, if I had him ranked up in the right meta, I would, I would surely have him in a deck, but. Uh, there's just so many champions that are just so ridiculous for battlegrounds that he's just not often seen. Yeah, in July four though. Um, yeah, those were. July 4th was ridiculous. It took forever for the things to finally smooth out. Once they did, like we're in a good spot right now, as they slowed down when they hit rank 3s, things slowed down substantially. You might get lucky. Uh, no. Why would I do that when I can spend, you know, 8 hours a day for 3 days in the arena and get them that way? Just saying. I mean, who's really winning here? Me or Cabane? <laughs> right? I mean, strictly just for the champion itself, it's more like only like six hours a day for three days. But like, I'm spending closer to like nine a day right now because I'm doing the other arenas too. Ouch. Well, I'm hoping they don't go overboard on July 4th again. We'll, we'll see with spring cleaning 
will be like hopefully a good indicator of how far they might go. Um, because with spring cleaning is like strictly just about spending, and there's no like free to play aspect it, for it in comparison, basically at all. I mean, you can get a very minuscule amount for free because um, there's no like units involved. I'm kind of hoping they change up the format a little bit, and you can like maybe buy some of the the currency for the, the store currency for units. That would be a big change. I'd be okay with that. Um, um, I'd actually like to see that change, and I think that would make it overall better for free-to-play players. Um, you still probably get far less of the the currency for the store than you know spending just cash on getting it. And I'd be totally okay with that, but being able to get some of it to get like some of the better ticket items, even if you had to spend, you know, a good chunk of units for it, I think I'd be okay with that as like an option thing, you know? That would be something I'd like to see as like a small change to the event that would make it better for free to play. Yeah, this, this game makes stupid amounts of money. It really does. But what, what, what would be your thoughts on that? that that's just an idea. I, I never really, I don't think I've ever thought about this before in that way. Like, what do, what do you guys think of that idea? Like, make, make some of the current, the store currency available to be purchased via units. So that you could like participate in the store, but obviously like the majority of it coming for like in cash offers. How how would you how would people feel about that? You think? Because right now it's like completely unfree to play friendly. Um. And depending on how they they scaled it, and like what you could get for a reasonable a cost. Um, could could be interesting. Um, and that way, hopefully, maybe shift some of the units spent kind of there earlier, and so that like, because like July Fourth is only getting more and more expensive. Because it used to be like. You max it out with like 18,000 units. Um, but last year, like to max it out, it was 36,000 units to get everything out of the July 4th. Um, Cyber Weekend is getting more and more expensive. Like two years ago, um, Like I spent like 39,000 units and that wasn't even maxing out the store. Um, I think that was like all but like the 5k relic stuff when relics were first introduced. Um, but last year I spent about the same amount and it was even less of the store. Like there was even more available to spend in it. Like, what does that even mean? Um, Garajuana, welcome though. Uh, go back to earning currency in Arena like they did when they first start. That's how it always goes though. They give a tiny amount for, for free in the mail, and there's an Arena to get a little bit more for free, but the majority of it, to get anything meaningful from the store, you have to buy, buy the, the offers. That's how it's always been, Redwood. Yeah. 
good enough. Um, so we'll 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 see how it winds up. Um, people are like suspecting like this Friday, but apparently like last year, uh, it would be more like time wise, it'd be more like next uh, Friday that the spring cleaning would actually arrive. So we'll, we'll see. I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure that's how it's always been. There's always been an arena for extra currency. Wow, okay, we just light, dude, the dude's running max deep wounds. Jeez. Well, that's a uh, few, few dozen thousands of points lost right there. Sheesh. By golly! Dead. I do feel like some of the most meaningful champs that don't already exist as seven stars have already been added to the the pool. What's up, Zero? We doing good. We're on we're on good pace. We are on good pace. Almost nine mil more to go, I think, for this run. Uh, but then we only have one more run left, and then I'll be done tonight. So. We'll be alright. Brian's going good. We running pretty smoothly, like. We still got a lot of champs to use, though, so. Calm down now. Nice. You never did say what you made. Um, make something delicious. <laughs> Open the game, and... Good feeling. Happy, happy feelings gone. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. We still have a few, couple rank fours left, and then we've got a lot of rank threes. Shatter, which is 
Shazam. Shazam! That was clean. I'll take it. That worked in my favor pretty well. Minced mushroom gravy, not a curry, ate it with Indian roti and some leftover fried rice. Doesn't sound too bad, although I don't like mushrooms. Do you like a good curry though? Curry sounds amazing. Not hit me in the face, please. That would be great. That would be lovely if you could not hit me in the face. For life. Nah, mushrooms are what? Gross. There's not a whole lot I don't like to eat mushrooms. Right up there. Uh, top couple of the lists. Tomatoes are fine. It's, uh, mushrooms and olives. I don't eat either. Yeah, tomato, tomatoes are. Oops. Tomatoes are fine. I prefer it like as a part of something else rather than by themselves. Like tomato -y sting, like so tomatoes on like a burger or you know, like your tomato sauce, tomato soups, you know. Um, ketchup obviously is mostly tomato. Um, but it's less it's less like mushroom like the flavor itself uh, but more like mushrooms themselves like the just like their texture it just like bleh. so like cream cream of mushroom is totally fine um, like can't like like if you're cooking with like that make something with that for like flavor and, and whatever like the condensed cream of mushroom soup or whatever that's totally fine um, uh, the little the little chunks of mushroom in there, I'll sometimes like pick out of it, but uh, those are totally fine. Ketchup is all sugar. I mean, certainly can't have sugar in it, uh, but ketchup is fantastic. No, I don't. I don't like mushrooms. Although aroma we aroma, aroma wise. Olives are the worst. I cannot stand the taste or smell of mushroom or of olives. They are just awful. Can't stand them. Obviously, too much sugar is bad for you, but like in moderate amounts, like it's not gonna. It's not bad. Like my tea is, you know, sweet, but it's actually. I mean, for how much I make, it doesn't actually have that much sugar. It's significantly less than soda. Like I only use about a cup of sugar for a full gallon of tea, so. 
just not that much. Gazpacho. Sounds delicious. Pretty sure I've heard of it. This chick, actually, I wouldn't mind seeing as a 7-star, because she has a really awful signature ability, and she's actually quite good on offense. I'd actually like to see her as a 7-star. An olive? No, olives are gross. I can't stand olives. Ouch, you're dead. Not a fan. Don't cast down the Pacho. <laughs> oh man. I knew I was slow on that one. Are you? It's like a drink, but it's also a soup. Fair enough. Is it a drink? Is it a soup? It depends on how you look at it. It's it's Sch Schrodinger's food. Um, it is is both a drink and a soup. Um, if you drink it, it's a drink. If you eat it, it's a soup. <laughs> too much fun sometimes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Terrible. Oh man, that was that was good. I, I need. I mean, that you gotta have that in your life, man. You gotta you gotta have stuff like that. Just just have a little bit of fun with stuff. If you're too serious all the time. You're just a dull person. Oh man. 
All right, I'm gonna take a small detour once this round is done. I'm gonna give myself some some tea. No, let me. I'm gonna get myself some tea. Give me a second. They're rigor pens, right? Uh, rig ray! of the new batch from yesterday. Good stuff. Ugh. Yeah, it's because gazpacho, it sounds familiar. I don't, I can't say I've ever had it, but it sounds familiar. Right. And we keep going. We're getting close. We're getting close, though. Okay. Dude, Ironheart and Silk. Dude, these are like... Hmm. I think that's the case with like a lot of things sometimes. Like, yeah, that sounds familiar. I may or may not have had it. If, like, if I saw it, I'd know. But like, yeah. That sort of thing. Yeah, this chick is just not a defender. She just melts. Like, she is pretty good on offense, too, but, like, she's just... Nobody uses her in BGs. Like, and of all the people I've seen, like, have her in the deck, like, they'll never draft her. If they do, like, they try to put her on defense, she just dies in 20 seconds. Um, and just, I've never seen her used on attack. Soup and drink, yeah. I mean, you drink soup sometimes. Um. Uh, you can drink soup, but you don't eat a drink. But you can eat soup. Just a weird thing, you know? Um, I don't like cold served dishes, really, though. I'm not a fan of, of like, if a dish is supposed to be, uh, like, has stuff in it that I prefer to be, like, warm or, like, heated, cooked, I don't want it cold. Like, salad cold, fine. Like, lettuce, I don't want my lettuce hot cooked because, like, it withers. Salad is like a thing that's supposed to be cold. Uh, but you have something like a potato salad. I don't like potato salad. It's potatoes. I like warm potato. Um, you know. Um, cold soups. Like, I'd rather my soup be hot. I don't want a cold soup. Impopular. I'm not bald. Uh, anyway, yeah. But yeah, no, I just I don't know. Is that I can't be the only one that just like doesn't particularly care for cold dishes. Like I like hot food. 
Like I'll eat it like if it's like been heated and then I like, cool down to like room temperature, like like that's still fine, but like if it's actually like just cold. Like refrigerated and then like warmed up. Or like fr like and like just left and like warmed up to like warmed up to room temperature. Like that's different. It's a weird distinction, even though they're technically the same temperature. Anyway. Natty Dan! Welcome. It's very almost similarly sounding to Nasty Dan. Um, who is a uh, a uh, community member elsewhere. But uh well Vega Raid! Whoa, was Vega streaming again? What's up, Captain Judah? Great non veg cuisine. I think if we just. Oh yeah, that's way overkill. Jeez. The grind's going good, Judah. Um, grind is totally fine. We're on perfect pace. We're almost done with this round, and then it's one more round, and... Uh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have them both. Natty Dan, thank you for the sub. Uh, yeah, I want, I want a Hulk, and I have a rank 3 Titanium Sig 20. I'd want them both. They both have, um, I mean, they're both good sciences, but you can use them in different ways. And if one gets banned, you have the other one. So, um, I would, I would like to have them both. Yeah, I'd have them both. That's actually great. Fudge. Yeah, we're all, we're almost there. We're getting there. Yes, big crits. Come on, there we go. So close. We're almost there, Captain Judah. We're gonna be about 114 mil ish. Um, I could technically go to 115. But at least 114 is kind of the number I'm looking at uh, getting to. Uh, and then I'll then I'll hit up some uh, BGs. Two to three cosmic Gamora and Gore. Um, if those are the only two options, I'd probably wait. Uh, potentially Gore, is he duped? Or either duped? Uh, I do kind of like Gamora though too, to be honest, but I, I think there's... Um, Gamora slaps, she really does actually. She hits really, really hard. Um, I couldn't hate on, I wouldn't hate on a Gamora, honestly. I recognize how good, how strong she actually is. Um, do you have, already, do you have already a Cosmic rank 3? The winner! Yo! Yeah, she... Like, rank 2's finish fights pretty dang quickly in the right matchup. If you get, like, a good a good run of it. Yeah. She'll, she'll clap fights in, like, 36 seconds. Yeah, the cam cam damage. Exactly. I'd say it would depend on if you already have a rank three um, cosmic already. Are you already valiant? 
would that make you valiant doing the rank three? If, if the doing the rank three would make you valiant, then I would pick one, um, hundred percent, because being valiant is like that important. Um, otherwise, if you're already valiant, then waiting is not like the worst option. So you have no R3s, trying to get Valiant, okay. So the rank, the, the gem wouldn't make you Valiant either way, but it would be your first. Since it still wouldn't make you Valiant, I would, it would be fine to hold on to it. Um, Yeah, maybe I would say maybe wait for Necro Rewards, an initial clear then. Um, see if you like get somebody better. Because um, in the grand scheme of it, are they are are both of those already ranked two? Also, of those two options, Mora and Gore, are they both already ranked two? If they're not already valued. They probably don't have a bunch of rank twos, so I imagine they're probably not. Um. Um. The resources it takes to do the rank 2 and rank 3 is actually, it's quite expensive. So unless you're like, pretty abundant on stuff, like, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, it's probably good, good to wait and see what you'd get, um, for, for the random. Because you'd also wind up in a situation where the, the initial clear is also a random gem. You could wind up with another cosmic, you could wind up with two cosmic rank 3s. Um, come on. Yeah, you're dead. All right. Anyway. Uh, I didn't realize that was energy damage. That did not do as much as I was thinking it was going to. Uh, or is it not? I was, oh, never mind. I was using... I was a... Uh, I don't think it is, actually. I was just using a rank 3, that's why. I was like, that wasn't doing near as much damage as I thought it was going to. But yeah, I'd say do, do your initial completion of Necro, then see what gem class you get from that. Uh, and maybe try and get some more 7 stars and stuff. Um... And then when when doing those rank ups would make you valiant, then uh, you know you'll at least maybe have more options um, to to go through. So I I would hold off on the decision for the time being. I would hold off on the decision for the time being. He's 11th in prestige? He's, he's up there that high in prestige? I didn't realize that. Dang. I don't, I don't have any 6 stars in my prestige. Like, 6 stars cannot be in my prestige. There's no 6 star high enough to overtake any of my 7 stars. That's distinctly possible, too. Um, it also depends on who your, like, Necropolis run option is. Um, if you have, like, a good option for it, like, the cheaper it's gonna be. Um, like, depending on who you're trying to use, like, it's very easily doable with, like, 50 or less revives. Uh, for, like, an easy path. With, you know, decent skill. And even if it, you know, so if, as long as you had like a full inventory worth of both level t twos and ones, that right there is 40 revives. Get a little bit above that for like a week of, of like dailies. Um, that'll put you over 50. Maybe try and farm up maybe some potions so you have a little bit of health to work with. 
And then if it takes you some units, if you have units to work with for extra revives, I mean, to get Valiant, like, it's worth spending some units to get. If you had to. Why were six Terbium? I mean, until fairly recently they were. Or one of them was, at least. But no, Shuri. Um, yeah, it depends on the path you're taking. You, um, sure, he's gonna be less needed. If uh, I mean, if you're using Aegon, Aegon takes care of most of it anyway. You don't really need a Shuri if you're using Aegon uh, for the easy path. For for the left side, which is generally I would say easier, I think Kate actually does the left side better than Aegon. Um. But Aegon does the right side way easier than Kate does. Although she can work for, for that side too. So. I mean, you can just go all in on Aegon. I, I would say follow. I mean, he also had a Shuri for it though, so. Hmm. But like, Brian, Brian did the first easy path with, with rank 5 ascended Aegon, so you'd be slightly weaker than that. But um, rank 5 ascended, he did, he did it in like. 50 revives. Or less. There's a little round there. And there was definitely fights that he could have saved some on. Sorry, I was running four stars first. Yeah. I get in the four stars on cooldown. Because they come off faster, and it requires so many more runs of of champions the way I do it. But um, six star power. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not overly concerned. We should we should hit it just fine. Um, let's see. We're gonna do it this way. Yeah, seven star werewolf is amazing. Doesn't need the dupe. You have eighty seven rank dude, that's way more than I got. Eighty seven? Sheesh. I use forty five. Maxed out four stars. I technically have 46 at rank five, but I only use uh, 45 of them. R5 on, dude. Onslaught, dude. If you have an onslaught, he could do some of the stuff that Shuri uh, would uh, be useful for. Uh, well, specifically on the one fight. Uh, Onslaught is actually really good for Necro. Uh, I think MS MSD probably has some Onslaught Necropolis uh, stuff. Like he is very, very strong. But it requires you keeping up his like his stuff for like the entirety of the fight. Which actually shouldn't be too bad because like once you get down to the rooted, rooted phase, like that's it's really easy because you can just like dex and then heavy and you're like right next to him after dexing. Wow, 
That was fun. 87. That's a lot of four stars maxed out, man. Like, I could max out more, it's just not necessary. I, th I feel like 15 is like a pretty good... 15 rounds, so 45 is like a good sweet spot. Okay, that was totally my in. You jerk face. Yeah, I would I would 100% rank to a werewolf if I got him. 100%. Only six, yeah. Depending on like when you started the game, like that's totally fair to like not have that many. Because, like, the progression happens so much faster than it used to. Um, that you just wind up maybe having a, a, like a very small handful of 4-stars ever getting ranked up. And then your 5-stars replace 4-stars very quickly. And then you start getting 6-stars. So you don't even have that many 5-stars ranked up, realistically, in, in the current progression of the game. Um, and because of 7-stars, like, future players, they're not going to have that many 6-stars maxed out, even. It's going to be... They get seven stars, and and because seven stars, even completely unleveled and unranked, are so strong, they're so viable to use in like anywhere in the game. Yeah, the tier one alpha, I just I just rank up like a five star because those take the most tier ones. Takes five per rank plus six on the last one. They're very expensive on the tier one alpha. Well then what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Only having six maxed out champs. For reals. Started upgrading all the new ones. Yeah, I, I rank them all to rank three, but I don't max them out. It's just a habit I, I've kept up. All three stars go to max, even though they're never used. Uh, and all four stars go to rank three. It's just kind of the habit I've, I've, I've kept up. <laughs> huh. Thirty-five maxed. I've got thirty-nine. Thirty, thirty-nine, max five stars. So we're we're pretty even on the four and five stars there, you saying? But because like five stars aren't even like necessary for like any of the reading I do realistically, because it's like a bonus if I'm using all the six stars elsewhere for like a big grind. Um, then like they just don't get ranked up there either. Cause they're just not needed. Yeah, six stars. I have. Uh, I mean, the count was what 151 at rank three plus. Like what 80, 80 something I think rank threes. I think 40 something, some odd rank fours. Which also sounds like a lot. <laughs> Um, and then the rest were, were rank fives. 54, again, you just have a lot more than I do. What's your total base hero rating, Gabar? Everything ranked up than I do. Ooh, that was that was close.
575. Okay. You're, you're still three quarters of a mil behind me, but dang. Yeah, that's partly due to I just have more champions than you do. I have all the four stars, all the three stars. All the three stars are maxed. I have almost all the six stars. Uh, and I've got 62 seven stars. Uh, arena hoarder. I do a lot of arena. There's still, like, even as much as I do, like, Abdo still has way more, and even though BG doesn't do uh, arena anymore either, and hasn't like done a lot of it for a while, he still has more arena wins than I do, Abdo has way more arena wins than I do. I still haven't hit 400,000 arena wins, uh, PvP wins, you know, so for arena wins. Yeah, dude, I... <laughs> I have 1309 champions. I've got you beat by uh, almost 50. Yeah, I mean, because there's like 60 or I guess 50 stones um, available. I mean, if you use 40 of them, I mean, you don't. You only need to pull a, a, a domino. Um, you know, somewhat like a handful of times to actually pull that off. But yeah. 2.9 million. Dude, that's over half, not almost half. Almost half would mean not quite half. You have over half. Um, k arenas yeah i'm close to the 400k mark but i haven't actually hit it yet i was just looking at it earlier or yesterday last night something like that something like that we are um yeah, we're, we're 4,500 PvP fights shy of 400k. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. So more champions overall, and six stars I have more ranked up than you. That's that's the big the big difference. And, se and seven stars actually add like a lot, because um, a, a rank just having a six star rank one. Uh, uh, where where was I? Let's see if we look at prestige, um, desktop, rank uh, one. Each each one is um, like on average twelve um, like on average like maybe twelve thousand uh, total like base hero rating per seven star uh, at rank one not awakened. So like ten of those ten ten seven stars is over a hundred thousand hero rating. Like that's insane. So one fifty eight. Still actually a good chunk of arena. 
I think like the biggest difference between like the because the people that have like the most like arena wins that are just like even though they don't ha or don't don't play it any much anymore that are still have more than me even though I play a, a lot of arena regularly is a lot of that is from like people like doing just massive overgrinds of for like grinding champions that are like really big on grinding champions I never ground out a ton of champions but I just do you know milestones and and uh, a little bit over for like the the placement but not for like the champion sixty five four yeah I purposely kept mine at like certain levels um the, the 555 was my highest ever, like on prank, I could have gotten more than that, I wasn't like, but like I stopped at that number to like, to have it be that number specifically, uh, on the Serpent Grind. There, there are people with like well over like a thousand win streak, you know, when they've done like grinds where they like dipped into like all their five stars or four stars and just ground so many rounds, you know. Like, and you can purposefully keep it lower uh, by like losing your streak on purpose and not like, you know, going in a row, even though if you put up like ridiculous scores. Seven stars, because of how strong they are, it's really important to get like certain key ones. For sure. Uh, the two star one? Oh, really? It took that many rounds? Do you not have all the two stars like maxed out? That seems like way more than it should have taken to do that. Two stars don't add that much to the base hero rating, quite frankly, but we do have them all maxed out. All the ones I have, at least. Yeah, that could make that more painful. Impressive if they weren't like, if you didn't have them all like high enough or that you'd never lost the streak, that's actually fairly impressive. Silk, Morbius, okay. Un Undupe, definitely not fix it. Don't like Morbius. Silk, worth it. Definitely not OG Spidey or Spider Gwen. Silk is, Silk is out of those, the only one I would say is worth it. You can always wait on it, but I, I, I just go straight Silk. Silk is that good. Ugh, 
tried just go with the silky myself we're welcome to wait for somebody else like a titania hulk or whatever but Silk is ridiculous. You rank two Sauron. I do not like Sauron. I was very sad when I when I duped mine. I think I duped double duped him actually now. In fact. Hell yeah, we actually no more evades from you, hallelujah. Chicken I rank is delicious food on a scale of one to, to delicious. I, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, anyway. I mean, I, not that I haven't lost to him myself, but I don't like using him offensively. Um, and he never does good enough for me whenever I try to use him on defense at rank one. So. Don't really want to rank to him. But that's just me. Surfers are right, but I, I wouldn't want to rank them up that highly. At some point, I might like rank to seven-star surfer, but like there's so many other cosmics I think I would rank up before him. Like I think I would rather have a Vox over Surfer. Um, they have a lot of the same utility, um, and Vox is more fun. Um, I have Gladiator also better than Surfer, I would say. Um, who else is Cosmic that I like? Deathless King Root, amazing. I'd rank him up over Surfer. You don't have a Deathless King group. You should, you should get yourself King group. Venom! Venom's good. He's good at stuff, man. That's your own dang fault. The Deathless Champs are really good. Or solid, at least. And you need them all to get the, the best one that they're going to have at the end. That's going to be like a meta kind of champion. So, they're worth having just for that alone. Very important to have. Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to have the others for him. Exactly. And I hope they have another challenge with the with the Thanos for hit, for getting his dupe like the uh, like they did with Guillotine, and I'm sure they're gonna have with like Deathless King Groot as well. So hopefully they they let us get his dupe as well via something. Sassy and Pig, dude, they are... They clap. They're so good. <laughs> dude, I was killing rank 3 Sassies with a rank 4 Pig in BGs. Um, pig is ridiculous. Sunspa, Sunspa is also pretty solid. I, I imagine there's probably going to be like Deathless King Groot like in the next EOP, probably a challenge there, uh, like they did with Guillotine for for her dupe. I would like to see that at least. What's up, Meep? I'm on your TV. See, that would be exceptionally scary if like my face was showing and I'd have a big head, but I think that's totally fine. Do I at least have volume up big booming voice or something? I don't know. Um, or are you just kind of chilling, vibing with it? I mean, because that's you know, distinctly possible. To oh my gosh. And you're dead. Cool. Very big list, yeah. Yep. The biggest list I have of that are missing is the uh, the seven stars for sure. I'm missing a very small number of five stars, but I am missing a couple. Just a guy in there, yeah. Exactly. Who is this man on the TV? Vin Diesel. Not even remotely. And not even just because I'm not bald. Alright, let's see if I can get him to switch again. Like, last time I got it, but it took a while. I've had it go, like, really good a couple times. Nope. The spacing is right there, and he has to back up. Nope. 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 God, you have to be... I'm already backed up in the corner. Fudge. Get away from me. Bro. I can't even get parries for the life of me right now. Gah! Just for safety, I don't want to die. Gah! Like, if you get him to switch, bam, good, done. If he doesn't do the, the spacing right, like, you're just screwed, and then you're in the corner. It's so painful. Dude, I cannot get parries, man. They're like, they're like jittering. It's so unpredictable. What the heck was that? That was weird. Not sure what happened there. Sheesh.
One in WoW, another one in another piece of content, actually. That's fair. I mean, I don't mind it being here, so as long as like, there's some way of, of it getting it, like some kind of objective challenge to do. Doesn't necessarily have to be an EOP, you know. As long as it's like achievable and reasonable. I thought the guillotine one was like awesome. Like, that one was really fun. Getting her for using her to do the, the fight. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We're almost there. Do what might I do what's on an That was, uh, I very nearly died in that fight. That was terrible. Terrible. There, there, me. Um. Oh, man. Whew. Man. So we used a couple. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Crazy about toffee. Yogurt. I don't have any yogurt. Don't mind yogurt though. Yogurt's pretty good. Yogurt's pretty good. Ooh, wow, that hit hard. Sheesh. Chavez, man. Chavez collapse.
Dang, nab it. Get with the program. Killing the arena wins. There we go. Get close. Pretty good though. That always happens. Always happens. Really? Not throwing your special, that's much appreciated. That would have been really not great. Get in there, we're getting there, we're closing in. Closing in. really hard on her basics. She really does. Like really good base base attack. Very good. Points are still okay with the rank twos. Oh my gosh. I think Heimdall needs like a bit of an offensive tweak. It's like a more of like a tune-up. Like, his abilities are okay enough, but I think he just doesn't have the damage he should. Like 
I don't think you need a full rework. I just like I don't think they need to change like a synergies. It's like a synergy is still useful defensively. They don't need you know they need to change that. Like offensively, I could, they could use like a little bump. Heimer Dingle, exactly. He's a dingus. Ensnared. The Hemi doll. Ooh. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, there's the last rank three. Like, I wanted to actually rank him up a little bit, but because PI is so low, it's so bad. Oh, I thought I was getting clapped there. Jeez. Gabarino. Sleeping Beast, what? Say a what now? Hey, who do you want to know? Yeah, sleep, sleeping, uh, yeah, the, a lot of sleep. I slept a solid seven, seven hours maybe? Yep, pretty good. Joe don't never Camaro, what? Alright, this is the first round of all only rank ones, right? None of these are rank two? No, Kang's rank two. Hmm. a nice big change that there's like 400 people now that get the the featured champ as, as opposed to the 100 because like even though there's like a bunch of guys in my own alliances that that's going for it, it's like well that would be more concerning if only 100 people got them <laughs> but there's 400 it's like okay not a big deal we can all get them you know I, I knew I was so slow on that. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're so screwed. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, um, it's definitely easier with, like, the bigger nukes. I, I do have Sim and G1829 ranked up as as four stars, and they do get used in my runs. And they're slightly slower, but it's not, like, crazy.
but yeah. If you rank rank up like the new gear options, that's definitely better. But if you do happen to already have them ranked up, then there's like nothing really gonna do about it. Alright, these guys should be all rank one. There we go. Yeah, OG Thor is nice and quick. Um, um, Red Guardian's really fast. Like he's a nice, quick, quick one. And his PI is nicely high. Ideally, you want both. You want like good PI, like OG Thor's PI is kind of terrible, but he's fast. Gwenpool's not bad. Wasp is nice and quick. Corvus, I can see being okay. is at the bottom. He's my 46th. Well, he's one of my first few, technically, but like he's... If you went from top to bottom, he's the 46th. He's, he's so low. Um, PI-wise. He's not like slow in fights, generally, because like Wolverine is not that bad. But his PI is so garbage. Like, I never use him. It's like, yeah, it's like... I get some four star rank downs. Like I'd, I'd like not not have these guys ranked up so I can rank up champions that are faster. <laughs> uh, I'll feel that. But it's whatever. It's not too shabby. Gilly's not like the slowest, but she's not like a nuke either. Sometimes it's just like the matchup you put them in, too. Like whatever I use her, I try to make sure it, it's versus a fight that's not going to be like forever. The objectives, I'm pretty sure the objectives last for the in, the entirety. Like, I think the only thing you miss out on is if you didn't spend the currency. Could be wrong though. I'd have to double check the uh... I don't, I don't think the objectives... I'm pretty sure the objectives last the whole month. Yeah, if you didn't spend the currency, then you missed out on a week's reset, but that would be it. But it's not like the worst thing. It's not great, but it's not like the worst thing either. Because the currency is good for like... Because it's like a rollover currency. Like, it's good for this week, it's good for the next month's event, you know. I thought you said you were going to start that like... Like an hour ago. Or was that longer ago? I can't keep track. Wow, 
Wow. It's their it's their sides it's like their their new uh store currency for, for side quests, basically. At least it for, for Sega for, for sagas. Um I'm not sure if sagas are like gonna be like a permanent like thing. Um I wasn't like entirely sure on the clarity of, of all that, but for the time being, like, yeah, the store is, like, permanent. And it's actually a pretty solid store. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I really like the Valiant level store. I think we'll go to 440. Uh, unless we hit the point where we're out of what I wanted to use before that. That'll be the plan. Yeah, the the oh, uh, the offensive photon is actually really nice. She's a little bit slower than I'd care for for like um Maybe it's cuz I didn't like heavy enough. Because for the, for the that's probably the reason it ended up being slow. But yeah, she's she's actually really solid. Well, don't be Paragon. It sounds like a personal problem. Um, there's already gonna be so much more Valiant players uh, because of Act Eight finishing. Like, quite, quite frankly, not being Valiant is on the player. Because everything you need to be Valiant exists in the game. Paragon was not that way. The catalyst you needed didn't exist in the game to, to get to hit Paragon when Paragon, like, came out. Like, you had to have, like, been building up to it for a while. Um... beforehand to get it without having to buy any offers or anything um valiant the content for it exists um and that makes it actually one of the better progression titles um as far as like when it came out thronebreaker was also really good because like it there was 100 percenting the act or doing a, a single path clear of abyss and you could get thronebreaker um paragon was like the big one where, like, it was really hard to hit Paragon. Um, like, I was months behind hitting Paragon. Part of that was, like, that was right around the time I had come back to the game. So I hadn't done the content that had given the, the stuff that helped, that would help me towards it. And I did have to buy offers and stuff. But even then, catching all that up, like, it took forever. Um...
so that's just kind of the reality of it. Um, if you want it, you can put in the effort to get it. Um, it exists in the game. And over time, it's only going to get easier and easier. Because right now, 100%ing the app content, super easy. And a single clear of Necro, not bad. Uh, having 100% Necro is a lot of, it's a massive time investment. And a lot of resources. But a single clear, not that bad. The more skill you have, the less it's going to cost you. I mean, technically, for any single clear, like a first-time clear, it's doable itemless if you're that good. Most people aren't, but it's technically doable. I certainly was never anywhere close to doing an itemless uh, kind of path, but besides the point. Like, if you happen to have a Wong, Wong can do an itemless path. Doesn't require any synergies, just Wong. Youch. Pretty sure he did that with a rank 3 though, so if you only had him rank 2 it might cost you, I don't know if a rank 2 would be able to do it itemless, but... Yeah, it's still cheap. If you were good with Wong, I, I, like, I thought those were really impressive. Hmm. <laughs> Red card. That's a tech personal foul. Red, get out of the game. Get ejected from the game. Like, thanks. Love the vote of confidence. Uh, I still be able to relax good tonight, uh, having being finishing the grind tonight, so that'll be great. That'd be real nice. I'll be happy with that. Fighting her dude at high enough sig so that like your regular hits cause her to go diamond is really annoying. That was my fault. I went the wrong way. My faults. There we go. How are you? Twenty times before it got so. Again, besides the point, like, it's just, it's technically possible. That's, that was the point. It's technically possible. recommend it. But uh, Dooley also did pretty solidly in Necro with, with a long. Eight hundred, yeah, I use probably around four hundred total for exploration. Or close to it. And however many hundreds of potions. Again, that was like the thing though about like the the offer too, 
for like for Paragon players, like it was not great for anybody. Like if you had uh, 23,000 whatever hundred units, like you're better off just spending those units on revives and clearing Necropolis 100%. Like the offer was just awful. Like you could easily fully explore, not even having to do that particularly well. You could fully explore Necropolis using only units on, like, not having any stash, just only units on the revives. Um. And you could do it for under 20, 20k. Because I didn't do, like, amazingly. And four, 400 revives is 20,000 units. Or, no, that's 16,000 units. Like, if you had to buy some potions too. Like, yeah, no, that would be what... 500 revives is 20,000 units. Which would be... You know, less than 100, but 80 would be 48. You, you could use more than 80 revives per path. And do it for twenty under twenty k. Like there's there's no reason to do that offer. Like it was terrible, absolutely atrocious. Like it wouldn't have even been great if if the Paragons had the Valiant price, because um, it still would have been better to take that amount of units to try and explore Necropolis with. Um, even though it'd be a lot harder to explore it. Um, um, with with only 15k. It's not impossible, depending on your skill and if you happen to have the, the right champions and so forth. Um, Aegon could definitely do it. Um, but yeah, no, it was like, it's terrible. Like, I think the, if they wanted anyone to get it reasonably, I think the pair, like the Valiant price should have been for, that. the current Valiant price should have been what it was priced for, for Paragon. Still not great value, still overpriced for what it would give you. Um, and it should have been, you know, like 10k at the most for Paragons. Um, because it had the, the crystal in it as well, I'd have been tempted to maybe spend 9k on it because I would have gotten the same equivalent value as, you know, one and a half for 9k that was available uh, for Valentine's Day that I skipped. Um, and I would have gotten an extra Nexus out of it, but that would that would have been it. Like ideally cheaper than that because like it's two months past uh, those deals. You'd want it to be better value over time, so cheaper over time. Uh, I think they were valuing the the Nexus seven star way too high. Ten, 10k, I still don't think I would have bought it. Because, like, the Nexus wasn't going to be worth that much to me. I wouldn't, I didn't want to spend more units than what I passed up on in, in, uh, in, uh, for the same amount of Catalyst wise that I passed up on Valentine's Day. Now, if it had two Catalysts and it would have given me the two plus the one extra from 8.4 and I could have gotten another rank three. I would buy it for 10k. Um, but because it wouldn't have given me the callus for the rank up, I wasn't going to bother. I mean, Nexus could, just still could be good. But you could get absolutely terrible value out of it. And like, the, the main want out of it for that, what I would, that I would personally attribute most of the cost to would have been the catalyst. Um, and I'd like to have seen the, the crystal be the bonus on top of the catalyst rather than 
it being so much of the cost because of the, the crystal. I feel like that inflated the cost so much that it just uh, made it not worth spending the amount to get even a, a sizable chunk of the catalyst, uh, but it just made it overall too expensive. Yeah, well, so right now those catalysts are only available in the top 10. Um, and it's not like a ton, but it's like some. It'll slowly, like, those catalysts will, like, will go, the top 10 will get even more, and then the lower amounts will get shifted down some. So, yeah, at some point I will be getting them, but... Um, not uh, substantial amounts. All right, last round. Last one. That would require another update besides AQ, and if they do that more frequently, which they said they were gonna, when was the last time they did upgrade, update it? Was it with raids that they did the update? So it's been uh, several months, uh, a few months now since we've seen any update to AQ rewards. Like the rank, rank reward wise, at least. But I think I think the rank stuff changed, and then shortly after that, the store changed. But the store right now really kind of sucks. Glory is one of the worst and least valuable currencies. Like it's okay, but it's not like amazing. Three, three months, because if you, you don't count a month for when it started. This is this the fourth set? I thought it was maybe only the third. I couldn't I couldn't remember if it was if this was the third or fourth. All right, done with that. Killing these arenas, man. We're killing them. I don't know that I want to like buy specifically crystals though for units. Like if crystals were included in in and had some of the cost, but it also came with you know like catalysts and stuff, I'd be more inclined to buy it than just a crystal straight up. I don't like buying just straight crystal stuff. I like other materials in addition to it, you know. Crystals would be like a nice bonus. Let's say it was like 3k. Um, you got a nexus and you know a chunk of catalyst. I'd be much more likely to pick that up than just 2k for a nexus, even though 2k for a nexus is actually probably pretty good. Um, I just don't like buying straight crystals. It feels bad because if you spend spend the units and get garbage out of it, you really realistically have nothing to show for it. Whereas if you spent units, you got a crystal, but you also have catalyst. The catalyst at least have the value, uh, even if the crystal in and of itself didn't really. Does that make sense? It feels like it should make sense. It makes sense to me at least. Um, and that might just be like because of 
how I feel about like spending units on like calves and paragons and stuff, because that is just really bad value to spend units on crystals. Um, like, that's like a known thing. Everybody knows that. They still do it anyway because like, oh, there's a chance. Um, you know, but so like I'd rather it be the cost go up, but have not like substantially, but like but also have like a good value of like catalyst or something else. Cats or six stones for like seven stars or something. Something like something of significant enough value that would have guaranteed use. Um, so say like th 3,000 units, you got like 10 seven star sigs and there was a nexus included. I'd be much more likely to pick that up than 2k for uh, just a straight nexus. I really wish I didn't do that. It's really annoying. Really annoying. What if there's a setting I can change to like have it not do that? That'd be great. That'd be lovely. So like, we're actually on really good, good pace now. This arena will be done with less than even a full round of doing this, the champions, and then with the leftovers, I can get the units out of the um, out of the uh, basic uh, basic arena, basic catalyst arena, the alpha catalyst arena. Which is a basic, but not like... Anyway. You know what I mean? Something along those lines. Something like that. good on the time though we don't I'm not gonna have to run this at all again the rest of the stream open out bangers every stream I'm not even like just like it's that's part of the playlist I'm listening to right now it's not it's it's I'm usually doing that it's a, it's when I step away from the computer though and you hear me that's like just like off the top of my head I'm ripping that off um, because I'm not, I'm no longer having the music in my ear at that point. After a single round, because you have so many, dude, that's rough. I don't like doing that many at a time of just four stars. It's actually exhausting. Dang. 
it's kind of like why I don't like going through so many six stars, uh, but like it's necessary to do that for like a, a champ grind, you know. The one bright side about four stars is you're using maxed out versus like the highest thing you can go against is, you know, the same level, you know, maxed out four star. Um, whereas when you're using the six stars, like it can put you against higher level six stars or seven stars, you know. So in general, the four stars generally actually do go faster. Because you're more often than not punching down, rather than punching even or punching up. But, um, yeah. So there's that. But with this being done, and we don't have to do any four-star runs, which would have eaten up a lot of the time too, uh, and made this be extra wonky today, we can actually spend uh, like a couple hours in VGs. It's just straight. And we can just... Which means we'll probably hit the GC. Uh, CX Chiara. Germany. Well, welcome from Germany, man. Um, it's either extremely late right now or like very, very early in the morning. I'm not sure exactly the time time difference, but it's, it would, I would think it's like 1 to 2 a.m. right now. Um, is, is that accurate? <laughs> or is it like 5, 6 a.m.? I'm not sure what the, the time difference is. Two, two, okay, two, two a.m. So it's just very late. Uh, well, welcome. Thanks for stopping in, man. Um, if this is if that's normal for you, welcome. I'm still gonna be around a while, but like, if you need to be going to bed, man, don't don't feel bad about going to bed. You need to be up. I plan on being here for a little while, though. Two days for you. Well, there you go. It's like, I got no plans for tomorrow. I will sleep in. I'm like, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's what I'd do. What I would do if I'm not if I wasn't tired, like heck yeah. That's what I'd do. That was a heck of a crit too. Sheesh. A movie while grinding. Yeah, I mean that's why this is easier. Like I stream doing it or like watch somebody else. Like it's really hard. I don't like watching something I haven't seen though, generally, while I'm doing it, because I like to focus on what I'm watching. If I'm like rewatching something that I don't mind, because then it's like I'm just like kind of following along and not like trying to get anything specifically out of it. Um, so like rewatches -re are, uh, hey, thanks for the sub, sub too, man. Um, but I don't like watching something new have as like backgrounds like I like focusing on movies I haven't seen or shows or what have you generally speaking
but yeah. I knocked you down with that. No, it has to be a special. Oh. oh, we missed. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Whoops. Should have thrown the special one. Oh well. That was my own fault. Shut up, you say it, I know. <laughs> Give me grief, man. Come on. Shut up. 200%. Which time am you? Like, right now? Me doing that? Or, like, some some other clip? It doesn't bother me. Like, you could do that. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. You can clip that and use it however you want. But, um... Like, <laughs> what? The number I'm trying to hit for this arena specifically for the top 5% for the 3k set of 6 star shards um, is uh, about 9.2 million. Uh, if I wasn't doing that, I would I would stop about like 6.2 for, for the 5 to 10%, but it requires a, a substantial jump above that to hit the, the 1 to 5. About about 6, a little over 6 million is, is roughly that 5 to 10 percent mark though. Um, which is not as substantial over the just the milestones as the, the one to five percent is. That what will actually wind up getting that depends on the champion. Like if a more like a higher wanted sort of basic champion that can go significantly higher, like well over ten. Uh, to like really guarantee it because I have missed going doing nine whatever before but like I did nine to something whatever last round and I got it just fine um, also kind of depends on how many people actually play the arena because um, that put me in spot like 800 something I think um, which I have been in 800th place before and not in the top 5% Getting it done, and by it, I mean arena. Um, yeah. Popcorn. Is that like a face in it? What the? That's kind of weird looking. It does remind me of a very specific thing. I'll say the name of it if you know what it's from. Like, you're awesome. Morph. Is exactly kind of what that reminds me of with the face and like the bubbles anyway um that was the first thing that popped in my head when i saw that with the face just so you know Rich 
Got a few more to do. Let's. Oh my gosh, the lag! Hey, well, I'm trying to like just move them, and it does that. It's like, no, I didn't click on it. I was swiping it. Get your. Once I finish this up, though, before we do hit. So. Uh... Is it be Jesus? Have to uh, use the bathroom and uh, wash my hands because, like, they're like giving me crappy inputs with how gross my hands are from sweating from just holding the phone for so long, just doing nothing but the arenas. They're really gross. Kind of grody. I feel like that doesn't usually happen though, like in the BG streams, but like specifically Arena, doing it for that much just makes my hands really gross. I messed that up. Alright, he's dead. He did! Ugh. And just for the sake of time, uh, stream wise, uh, I'll get to the last round, which is the Bullseye one, which should be two more and then the Bullseye one after that. So it's this one, the one with Venom, and then Bullseye. We'll set that one in so it's on cooldown, but then we'll not actually do that round. What do you know? Um, darn. Dehern. Let's do it this one. Yo, what's up, Theory? Just in time uh, for me to be almost done with the arena here for for the stream. Stream has basically been exclusionarily just arena so far. Uh, it took a while to get through everything. Um, the arena, like, it's this round, one more, and then I'm going to put in the round after that, but I'm not going to do it. I'll save that for later. Um, but just put it in so it's on, puts the champs on cooldown. So unfortunate. We're hitting too hard. Okay, there we go. Um, the GC meta. Ugh. If if we do go the like roughly maybe two hours um, before I end the stream in doing nothing but battlegrounds, we'll we'll like for sure hit GC unless I do really really poorly um, 
which kind of sucks. <laughs> I really don't want to play the GC. Not that, not yet. So it's rather, rather unfortunate. But hey, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? I mean, I'll I'll be able to have the recoils on for it at least, but. Eh. I don't know. I might try like mixing up uh, masteries for to have a. It just kind of depends. We'll we'll be able to make an interesting team though, because I should be able to use Ghost. I haven't used Ghost in forever. Um. So Ghost can make the the team. Um. Um, we'll have just a bunch of champions. Like, a cer certain ones that are in the deck right now will be unusable, um, and we'll have to get them swapped out. So, um, we'll be able to bring in champs like um, Scorpion. Scorpion's not going to make the deck. He'll be out. Um, Titania. I can leave her in. She'd be fine. Um... She might be a slightly slow. She might be slightly slow. But she'll she'll be able to stay in the deck. Um, um Yeah, certain certain ones will will be a little bit wonky though. So at any rate. That'll be that. Um, let's do... Uh, actually, in fact, that. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so that'll be that. Um, I'm gonna use the bathroom, get myself my hands cleaned up so they're not gross! Uh, I need to burn some more energy again, though, so let's pop back in here. Uh, I'm gonna let this auto while I do that. And um, I will be right back. Uh, I don't I don't have a big soap, so no soap for me, unfortunately. Be right back.
There we go. Alright. Wow, Sassy's almost dead. What the heck? Um, I think he gained health there slightly a bit at the end, though. Was, anyway. Um, could be wrong. Um, okay. We did a couple fights there. That wasn't the... Was that the first fight? That doesn't seem right. No. It was at least the second. That was... Kind of slow. All right. Um, what the? Hold on. There we go. Oops. Um, let's see. There we go. All right. Let's finish off the energy so that we can. Uh, Layups. Nice. Then uh, I think we'll. Um, I think we'll probably go ahead and add. We'll use. Um, uh, what's the what's his face in the um, in the deck would be fine. Zemo. Zemo could go on the deck, I think, just fine. Probably. Zemo's strong. Question is, do I go ahead and ascend him now? Or just leave him at the rank 5? we can do that. Oh shoot, I need to give him six too. Shoot. He's only sick like a hundred right now. I really don't like Zemo. I, I I went ahead and ranked him up with the gem and, and stuff, and that was planning on doing the ascensions just because, like, he's tactic for the meta, and I want to be a dick. Plus, I know he's good. Like, I just don't like using him. Um, plus, he's actually kind of nice for photons and stuff. He does that match really well. Uh, won't in the GC right now, but like, do it very very nicely. Um, in uh, what you call it? So. Wow, you're still like sticking. What? I was dashing back. You suck. I was dashing back. Stupid. It's a big dumb. Oh, 
was definitely. Full yellow bar finish. Calculated. Um. And how do you like now? Get wrecked. Alright. Boy. Alright, do one last reset and uh, BGs for the rest of the strain. I wish you want to bet Zoe's going to pop up once we start. And a few others. I usually have a pretty good. Like when I'm doing BGs, like a lot more people watch. It's like it's more fun to watch or something. I don't know. Um, it is. I, I don't blame people for that. But. Um, quick look. Yeah, we didn't do very good yesterday. Seven matches, only won five of them. Terrible. But um, we got about 30 matches more worth of Elder Marks to uh, use, approximately. I've played 30 so far this season matches, not all with Elder's Marks, I accidentally did one with Energy, but, um, that's, um, yeah, BGs, with 108 points, that's C5 right now, sheesh, that's ridiculous, ridiculous, I tell you, uh, let's see, no Hulk. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that just because it's sick like 20 and I've got options. Get rid of you. Big Kingpin, eh? Danny ban. I didn't ban Danny. What now? What you want about food? Uh, just because I like her so much, we're taking her. She's so good. So good. She's like so good, like ridiculous like a She's so good. Alright, we're gonna take Definitely take you. Um That's a bit of fun. We had no. Actually, never mind. We have the counter to him. That's fine. That's fine. We got his counter. That's totally okay. Um, I'm gonna take. Nick. Welcome back, you Sam. We can't lose our first match of the day, right? That's that's just terrible. Gladiatoring Nick Fury. That's bold. That's a bold choice right there. Alright, so we deck so he doesn't have the guaranteed crits. That's get our intercepts. What? I was Jackson. 
What the heck? Gosh, that cost me it right there. It did. Oh my gosh. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's garbage. Garbage. I think I lose. Fudge. Darn. Dude, I... It was so stupid. Oh my gosh. That was so dumb. If if Bullseye doesn't cooperate with me, I definitely lost. If he does, I can win this one. But he has to throw the special one immediately. Round one, man. It was so stupid. So stupid. Gah. So bad. So bad. Uh. Unbelievable. Uh. This is going to be an interesting race here. Timing of that, dude. There we go. Lost so much health. Oh. I should have won that. I should have won all three of those rounds. Unbelievable. I had the perfect draft for him. Oh my gosh. That was so stupid. That was entirely my fault, losing that one. It was so bad. So awful. That was ridiculous. Ridiculous. The slightest annoyances that cost that one.
He kept throwing that special one at the worst possible time. Ugh, fudge. Unbelievable. So stupid. So stupid. So bad. So bad. Take the sassy, I dare you. Do it! Dang. Full shame. Unfortunately, this one's going to come down to wonky order, but eh, what are you going to do? What you going to do? Really? Well, dang. I had, uh, had better clap this dude then, huh? Show you how show you how goaded Spider Ham is right now. And you're dead. Oh, I went early! Oh my gosh. Dude. I went so He was dead. He was dead! Dude, I would've had that. Oh my god. Dude, I am throwing these all, all away, man. Oh my gosh. Dude. That's so frustrating, man. It's fine. I he shouldn't have used CGR there. I still think I have him. God, that was awful. Unbelievably awful. God. Unbelievably awful. Sheesh. That was so bad. So bad. <sighs> Might lose this now because, like, I 
I needed to, due to this faster, I needed to do this differently. This came down to a bad order. Yeah. That is how you properly king pin a Nick Fury. Oh, unbelievable. And now I can sunspot whatever, doesn't matter. So. Oh, bro. Oh, man. It's brutal. Brutal. Hulkling, the sassy. I'm curious how well that's gonna work. If I'm perfectly honest. Shang Chi. Also curious how that's gonna work, but you know. It's fine. Oh man. Okay, what? What was that? That's a win. He's not beating that. He's not getting 50k versus <laughs> Sassy. Um, yeah. Dude, that round one was a Sag, though. Yeah. I am throwing so many matches away for just garbage playing. It's so, it's so bad. All right. I threw away that first match, too, today. Like, total. Dude, what the heck? What? Oh, uh, MD probably screwed him. No, he was definitely better off trying to do that with. Um... I see, this is what I'm saying. Like, Shang just sucks. He's just not, not good enough as a seven star. He's just not. Like, that's not obviously his ideal match, but, like, still. It's just not good enough. Not there, man. Ugh, I can't believe I, I bombed that special too so hard. Uh so bad. So bad. So bad. Prime Rick Sanchez. Someone's a fan of uh Rick and Morty. Uh, well, that's definitely gone.
Oh man. Brutal. Yeah, there's the big bad boy. But if we get CGR, I don't know. Say who do what now? There's the CGR. And we're taking her too, because she clips. Alright, which means we do actually need a different option for the bullseye now though, unfortunately. Uh, if we could get Sunspot, I'd be happy with that. Bishop 2 would also work. That works. Um It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Forgot what? What? Say, who do you want to name? Bro. Ski. Take it. Alright, cool. Smoked it. We probably will. I actually have a good enough draft. I think we're fine. I think we're perfectly fine. I think we got him rightfully clapped. Um, I think we got him rightfully clapped it. So we should be fine. Shoulds be fine. What's up, DTX? How's it going, man? Yeah, my my deck is is pretty pretty well stacked. Okay, well we messed that one up. Yauchi mama. I... That, okay, that was my fault. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm just throwing matches away, man. Um... Uh, I'm at 116 mil. I, I botched that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. Not in the slightest. No, arena's we're done with the arena for day, uh, for the stream. No, no more arena. It's totally fine. Um, oh, you're done. Um, units for elders, though. I mean, do you? Do you though? I don't know. Can do domino, um, but I think I think we can just do it faster. Well, if you were trying to get a high score, then yeah, you're gonna need units for it. Um.
that's that's a win. Um, Uh, whether or not we actually beat him, though, is another matter. So, we'll see. We'll see. Sig, Nick Fury. You should get that thing signed up, so second life there should be pretty, pretty clever. Who says undo domino in a defender? Psh. Domino claps. How many hours? I mean, that's what, five rounds worth at at least probably four hours, so like 20? 20 maybe? He's definitely gonna be faster than me on this, so we'll see what happens. Throw it, my guy. You gotta throw it. did it perfect what the heck bro really Ugh. dude I am one in two for the day I did not I had to win round one and I I keep messing round one up man it was such easily be winnable if I didn't screw it up there's nothing I could do round three, though. He had CGR for it. Uh, or, or he could have torched my Mystic, so, like, there's literally nothing I could do there. So bad. I would just... I would just... I had to win round one. Like, I had the draft I wanted. It just... I didn't play it properly. <laughs> be a lot cooler if you want! Yeah, it would be. It would, in fact, be. Dude, why am I getting clapped so hard in here, man? That's undupe, so I'm not threatened by that. Um, well, that's gotta go though, as do the self. -book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was so bad. If we keep playing this terrible, we're not gonna hit the GC today. Jeez. The heck, man? Dang, should have taken Elsa. Oh, there's Elsa. Cool. <laughs> I'll take that! Yeah, I'll take the... Uh, Dang, should have taken Chavez! <sighs> Come on! 
I can't win here! Oh, that works. Okay. That works. Unbelievable. Rank one. Well, you can't see Jer everybody, and you only got really basically one good option, so let's do that. Cool. I should win this one. <laughs> remember that time when you lost? Yeah. You know, I remember like it was just five seconds ago. Uh. Oops. Oh man. All right, we need this dude to fully cooperate. That's not what we want. Jeez, what we want. So bad. So abysmally bad. What is with my round one fights, man? I have not had a good one yet. Uh, what's up, Timmy the Connor? We've been playing terribly, honestly. This is my fourth match, uh, and I've only won one of them so far. Fam doesn't get that much extra reach with recoils. It really doesn't help them that much. It used to be one round one. Now we're more likely to win. Like, bro. Um. Yeah, no, I think we're good now. Because he either goes with the CGR and wins the Maestro match, or I win the Maestro match. Um, straight up, and he loses to Killmonger next round. So I think I think we're good either way. Um, so he's losing this match. Okay, cool. Throwing the match he needs to win. Lovely. What do you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up. Okay. Thank you for that. But we won, so it's fine. Um, uh, yes, but you can't get the, the the disintegrate until after the fisticuffs ends, and you need you would need at least one of those for the special for a one special two to kill. Um, I would think. I guess it depends on who you're fighting, but. Yeah. 
He had to win that one. Like, I don't... <laughs> Just from the basics. I mean, yeah, the basics would hit harder. Like, I'm, I'm well aware of that. I, I use them a lot in questing with recoils on. Like, it just doesn't have that kind of reach. Um, for over 200,000 health. With class advantage, maybe, but... Alright, we're 2-2 two and two right now. We've done four matches. It's terrible. Oh my gosh. Like class advantage, I think maybe, but like outside of class advantage, like you're not you're not doing it in just combos and special too. It's not happening. Um oh, dang, that was the end of it. Is that the end of it or did it just no, Alright. Who do we want to get rid of? That's I'm getting rid of that. Ugh. Um, get rid of that. The rest don't really care about. Go ahead and get rid of that. That's that'll take too long to kill. All right. Um, I'm go ahead and start with her, just on the off chance we get a uh, a witch magicker. Who magicker? All right, uh, how well would that guy work out for that? Would it work? I'm curious. I'm rather curious. Let's, uh, let's go and take... No, I'll take the Fury. Dang, the Fury's just better. It's just better. All right, we need an option for that. Um, dang, we have so many options. Um, Uh, I'm, I'm more comfortable with the CGR for it. Like the, the, it just tends to work out better. Not like that's necessarily the smart way to do it, but you know, it's a way to do it. Alright, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna need to do it this way. Again, right? No. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop here. Uh, he's probably gonna domino. Yep, called it. Called it. Copy and trappy. Yeah, this is only a rank four, so this dude's actually gonna die really fast. I cannot get him to frickin' build up on this stupid... That 
was so slow. Yeah. Barely got it. Jeez. Dude, the amount of like the decks on him for for Nick Fury specifically not actually triggering the thing was so stupid. Uh, it was brutal. There's the bullseye. You know what? I'm gonna give you Kingpin. Because you got nobody for it. That's actually much better for me that he did that because... Like, I... That was weird. Okay, whatever. Whatever. That was absolutely bizarre. But whatever. Okay. have like a great option for it but like that was definitely the worst way you could have done that all right this makes me three and two now on the day I guess. Whatever. Like I shouldn't be losing in the in the victory track that much. I really shouldn't. Uh, Judah, Judah's already put up like a solid score. We got some big, we got some big boys. Like, our score's gonna be fine. We do have a lot of people that like just barely tip over the the minimum though. I mean, I don't like go well well above it, but like at least I'm there along the way and not like doing four hundred thousand points in the final forty eight hours, you know. They're still getting the minimum, but man, it's just painful to see it, like, them trying to push so hard in, like, the shortest amount of time possible. What the heck? What is that? What? I'm confused. I'm, like, very confused. Alright, no CGR. Totally fine. We can do you and... Photon counter, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'll just not draft Photon then? Like, I, I don't know. Got rid of CGRs, like, that means mine's valid. That's just weird, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. Don't know. It's 
it was just weird. I don't know. I'm very confused. Oh, dude. If he tries to use that on defense, man's about to get clapped. Bro. <laughs> Sucker. And now he has a useless champ on his team. Like, straight up. I can do this mirror match. Like, let's do it. I mean, if he gets a good, like, crit bleed, like, he'll... Yeah. I think we got it, though. I, I think we got him. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a win. That was a rank three. We did it in 41 seconds. Bro. Mm. Rank three Killmonger ain't got nothing on big boy... A-A, man. A-A, man. This is why I is rank 5 a Senator. <laughs> it's like for stupid stuff like this, man. It's ridiculous. Actually dumb. It's actually big stupid. Oh, bro, yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, dude, this is gonna be so much fun. Bro, let's go. There we go. Oh man. That's a bummer that it like skipped. Um, there, that was, uh, actually here's on what we can do. Here, here, we can do this. Um, so we can actually see, see this fight. Um, Cause like it, it would have recorded just fine. Uh, or at least it should have. So if we go to our, uh, our replay, we can, uh, okay. So we come in, Do our thing, get the intercept off. He fires that, boof. All the buffs just obliterate it. Look at look at that dot damage. And then just so much incinerate. Dead. Oh my gosh. Uh that was so good. That was so good. Okay. Um. Oh, that was filthy. Okay. Uh, that was six, right? Six, six matches we did. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. So we're four, four and two. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you actually put that down with me having that as an option. 
I wanted to try it so bad. I can't believe you gave it to me though. Cause like it was like a for sure loss unless I botched it. Um. Whew. You've done all the features since Lady D Tooth. I didn't realize you've been doing all of them. 260. I feel like I have more than that. How many do I have? Uh, I'll figure that out. Yeah, I, I'm trying to, like, there's a couple I'm missing that I'll have to go and get, but... Alright, what I need is... none of those guys. Okay, what we need... is... I'm gonna go ahead and take... I'm gonna take you. No. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I like to take more. I just do. Um, that's like double what there was like the other day, I feel like. I don't like him for unduped ones, but we're gonna do it anyway. This will be, be fine. That'll be fine. Of course, you get me. Okay. Whatever. Vibranium 2. I've lost. 7. I've only lost 7. Out of 36. So, not like amazing. Nothing crazy good either. You know, it is a thing. It's a thing. All right, let's try this again. Um, I'm not messing it up this time. I couldn't get the decks at the start, which is what I was trying to do last time. There we go. Um. This is why Pig doesn't need rank 3. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh. Oh man. He did that pretty clean, though. That's also giving you more 7-star shots because of that, that's for sure. I've definitely missed out on, on many thousands of 7-star shards because of that. And there's the Photon. Or Kindred. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, man. Whew.
Yeah, I lost all that right at the end. <laughs> he's gonna have. Hey, he's got me beat. He's gonna have the health. Dag nabbit. Ugh, I botched it at the end. Yeah, dude, I would have won that. Would have won it. I was trying to like. I was like, oh yeah, let me just tap. I was right there on the special. I just needed a touch of energy, but I was untouchable. It's like I was trying to like maybe parry, throw it, or or like. I, but I was like, no, I just need to light him. But then like the spacing wasn't there because I was rooted. And that was so stupid. Stupid. Whatever. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Uh. Oh, thanks. Immediate. Okay, it's over. Wow. Jeez, what the crap was that? What the actual heck was that? It, dude, I couldn't do anything there. That was so stupid. Dude, I like fighting Adam Warlocks, actually. He's not hard to fight. I wasn't trying to dex there after I got hit. I was trying to parry. Dude, I could have I could have won that so easily. I'm throwing so many of these away. This is so stupid. I've now lost eight. Ugh, so is that four and three now, today? Oh my gosh. Why? Why so many losses? Uh, is that right? Four, four, and three, yeah, seven, seven minutes. Doing awful. This didn't cost me a token, but jeez. It's so bad. So bad. That was, that was actually abysmal. Oh, jeez. All right, no CGRs, well, we'll take you then. Dude, that was like ridiculous, man. It just, I just, once he parried me, I, I literally couldn't do anything. Take sassy, do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that was that was a brutal combo though, like for real. Like for reals. Ended up not being a particularly amazingly awesome draft, but whatever. It's whatever. Uh, 
Um, let's start you off with... Oh, he's got the... If he does what I did, like, that's quick match, but that's totally fine. I can do it just as cleanly here, I think. We should be alright. Should be alright. The odds are in my favor. Like, I had really good RNG on that matchup. It was versus a rank 3, too, so... He could technically maybe go faster, but... We'll, uh, we'll see here. Okay. Yeah, it's over. Oh my gosh, dude. I I can't win round ones for the life of me, man. <sighs> dude, I'm just missing I'm getting lost inputs. Um and it and it's and it's ruining me. Yeah. Could have won that easily. Easily could have won that. Should have been done faster, and I could have had more health. But he hit me, got too much power. Fudge. It's fine, I can still win this. Freaking. Stupid, though. What? Really? 30 seconds? Bro. God. That's good RNG right there. Well, that's two in a real loss. Dude, I just clearly suck at this game, you know? I shouldn't have lost round one. That's... This one, I'll take the... Like, that's just unfortunate that he got so ridiculously lucky. We got 107k crit. Yeah. Straight clap the dude. Unbelievable. Uh frickin' garbage. I am, man, dude. Frickin' I've won four, lost four. Like that's that's just terrible. Alright, just cause photons in here, I'm Um So bad. So, so bad. Here, I'm going to take you. That's fine. Um, 
He's got options for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. There's one, which is also a really fast one. She does it really well, but it, if you mess up like an intercept, uh, you could get clapped so easily. doesn't have counters to both. Well, I mean, technically does, but... Still not the easiest matchup in the world. I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. I was going to do that in a particular way, but I think we're going to go with... Um... Playing that one for a loss. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough! Weird. Whatever. Whatever's. Okay, what was that? Bro, what? Dude, he can win this now. Dude, that's so annoying. Dude, that's so garbage. He can easily win that now. Unbelievable. What is with the no freaking dexing, man? Unreal. Unreal. It's the tiniest chance that I win. Like, absolutely tiniest. It's so unlikely. Went from like guaranteed win to like I'll be shocked if I win. Unreal. God, so bad. Unbelievable. Bro. So annoying. Okay, we're good. Sheesh! I should not be struggling this hard, man. I'm playing like garbage! Oh my gosh. So awful. So bad. It's something about the victory track, man. This also went poorly last time because I had freaking garbage nonsense happening. So let's let's get our clean freaking fight here, man. Unbelievable.
Oh, jeez. I'm kidding, man. Yeah, was so bad. Unbelievable. Uh, 53 second Nick Fury takedown though. That was uh, was that was that rank five ascended? I think I thought it was. Seems I thought that was the health pool, right? I just got really good crits. I mean, we're getting bonus attack from the uh. Yeah, rank 5 ascended. We're getting bonus attack from the Furies, but... That's pretty darn quick. Alright, that's... Uh, 9, right? Yeah, 9 matches. Okay, so we're we're 5 and 4. So bad. So bad. Match number 10. Ortega. Like it takes a minimum twenty-seven matches, and I this will be my fortieth. So bad, so bad. Not a threatening deck in the slightest. There's way too many rank ones. Moments not looking 100% great for me. That helps. Do I have enough offensive? Yeah, this is fine. We can make this work. Cool. Right. Unfortunately, y'all's got the CGR, but. Yeah. Let's start with this dude. It's unfortunately not super great. Uh, for me. Just so it doesn't doesn't have like a particularly awesome counter for the serpent is good for me. Probably gonna CGR it. Alright, that is definitely not fun. That's not gonna go well. Okay. But you know what? Totally fine. Alright. I, I lost. 
Because now he's in refined magma and I'm dead. So. Okay, in this case it didn't matter. <laughs> in this case it didn't matter. That's great. Cool. Cool. I don't know how he did that little damage. Uh, in uh, only in living for 41 seconds, but whatever. Oh, dude, he's such a dick if you don't have a counter. And even then he's kind of a dick. Should we just go for the win? I think we should just I think we just go for the win here. Yeah, we just we'll just go for the win. It's fine. This is fine. Yeah, and I, yeah, he was worth every hour of grind the man was. Alright, let's get our heavy uh do that fight any faster than roughly 50 seconds with it. So, and even then, that's very unlikely that it that would take only 50 seconds. It's more like a 68 second fight. Oh yeah, there's some that are definitely worth it, dude. Serpent was like definitely on the list for, for worthness. Um, he's so annoying. I was like, I, I had to. I, I had to do that grind for him because, like, I there was no way I could wait until he because he was like the feature just changed. There's no way I could wait. He would have to be permanently banned, basically. Um, uh, even even though I got counters for him, just because he's that annoying. Like the odd, my odds of winning when he's in there uh, that match, it just are so awful. All right, 10 matches, we've lost four, one, six. That's not great. Ugh. So we've done 40 matches thus far. Uh, this season. Where are we sitting points-wise in 40 matches? Only... 223. We've got roughly another 20 left. So we're going to, that'll push us, like, we're going to be barely over 300 because of all these losses. Oh, man. Uh, actually, where are we? Where are we looking in the alliance one? Um, so there's there's three milestones left. So there's 600 more tokens to get. And how many trophies are in there? Oops. So it's 39, 45, six. So that's 10, five, um, four, 14, four. So there's still 14,400 more to get. Um, plus another, what, 63 from here? Not 55, so... So it'll be, what, 19.9? Just shy of 20k more to tokens? Um, 
for the season, so I've got about 85,000 left to last me until the, uh, in the store, until the, uh, until we get ranked rewards. Dang. Not great. Not great. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, actually, that's 10 matches without a restart. Uh, hold on, let me check the this real quick. <sighs> yeah, I, I haven't been buying, like, honestly, like, it's it's a full one, I just hate, like, that it, like, I haven't been buying the basic, I've been buying the tier 6 basic or, or tier 3 alpha, it's actually kind of expensive, um, to buy, like, a meaningful amount of it, it costs a lot, so I've just been buying the T6C, and actually the 7 star shards too I've been buying, but I don't have enough to work with uh, this season, I'm not gonna be able to max it out every week, because I've been buying, I've been like, since it changed, I've basically been maxing it out both. The seven star shards and the, um... The, um... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that stuff. The T6C and the seven star shards. Which is a lot. That's like, what, 40,000 a week? It's a lot. Yeah, because it's almost almost fifty thousand to buy ten of each. Like it'd be over forty thousand, I think, or roughly, or close to forty thousand to buy enough for a single rank two. Like that's expensive. I mean, it's a rank two, but like, eh. uh, that's a rank three. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of you and small silk. So we'll get rid of that. CGR. Pretty CGR is just like insta, like <laughs> just take them. If you got them, take them. All right. Uh, heck yeah. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, I like the changes. Like, don't get me wrong. Because like, it is better value than it was before. And I was buying them before. Because um, there was more left over. Buying the T6C costs more. But we also get a crap ton more of it. So. Who's really winning? Let's be honest. still get this dude anyway. Oh, of course he gets CGR right after. Lovely. Although he might, like, opt to Warlock the, um, the dude. We'll see. We'll see how it works. See how it goes. Uh, either way, I think we have a good... A good defensive with him for for win. So we'll go and start with this dude and see what he does. I'm rather curious. I'm rather curious myself. Um. So 
So he's opting to CGR it. All right, let's see if we can actually get our inputs this time. That would be lovely. Just because I like I'm losing this match. Like it's it's happening. So we're just gonna We're just gonna play for the loss on this one. <laughs> we're gonna try and win it, but like this is this is throw. Uh, we don't really have choice. Actually. No, actually, no, we'll throw it with you. We'll throw it with CGR. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh, we done clapped that so perfectly. Oh my gosh, that was unreal, unreal. I've never had that go that well. Was that not a maxed out photon? No, it was. What the heck? You must not have been running inequity. Jeez. Ho! I was not prepared for that. Okay. That was, uh, that was great. I mean, I, I had him beat in the next round pretty comfortably. Um... I, I think, I like, think he technically could have doomed Serpent, but like it would have been slow. Um, dang, Callisto! Yeah, that was wild. That was like a throw round, though. I just, I didn't. Like, I was about to, like, throw it, throw it with, with that and go, because I was trying to go for round three, but I just saved myself a round in time, so I'll take it. Um, that's gotta go. You gotta go, and we're gonna make you go. That, that was insane. I've never had a photon go that well. Especially not have that kind of health, either. Um... I took almost no damage. That was great. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, Broski. He's great.
got two options for this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. Play with Smash with the recoils with him. He nukes, apparently, with the recoils with it right now. Um, he's also just straight bleed immune, so like he wouldn't take much from it anyway. To be fair. Take it. Damn, he's gonna clap my Nick Fury though. Yeah, okay, well now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do versus Nick Fury because I don't have a particularly amazing option for it at the moment. One throw. Assuming I don't mess this up, at least. Uh, dude. We might be okay. We're definitely gonna be way faster than him, and he's gonna lose some health. Um, we might be okay still. God, that was intercepting, man. It's so annoying. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, even if it weren't for the fisticuffs negating all of it, he's bleed immune, so he wouldn't have taken much anyway from like having the bleed and poison. Um, you take some from the uh, poison, obviously, but. Uh, it's substantially more when you're bleeding out. Poison's I mean, not great, uh, and it's you know, permanent, but if you're doing a fast fight, it doesn't really matter. He can, he can do Bishop, but yeah, I think that's kind of the idea. I don't, I can't really do, oh, that's actually better for me. Heck yeah, okay. Um, if Chavez can, uh, what? Bro, dog. Okay, well we're doing this then. Now we definitely can't do it, but I think I can beat him out anyway. As then he definitely like loses to the bishop. What? I'm so utterly confused right now. Okay, bro. It's over. Dude. I'm just trying to dex. Is that so much to ask? Like, seriously. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so annoyed. Oh, we got it anyway. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. What's up, Theory? That's so stupid. Hardly. I did terrible. Like, he should have won that with how... I'm like, he shouldn't have won if it had gone the way it should have gone. But having it gone the way it, it did go, he should have won. If it went well, he had no shot, because Kate takes a particular amount of time, and I did it faster. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright. That was, um... That was 12, right? I've done 12 now. So we're eight and four. Because those those two losses were uh, no tokens lost. And at that point we were four and four uh, and then we went six and four eight and four right I think I'm pretty sure that's where we're at yeah because we were four and four so we've done 12 matches today okay you know, we're, no, we're not. We don't need to do that. We don't. Shields are a waste, man. Shields are stupid. Um, besides, if I lose, and then have to therefore have to do extra matches in here, I'd prefer that. I don't want to move on. If that makes sense. Um, so we'll go ahead and do it. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, whatever. Um. So this is match 43 of the season. Let's go. Let's do it. Rayleigh. 14. Um, let's not have you Venom something. Let's not fight that either. And um, that's a smaller jugs, not a threat. Big enough silk to be a threat. No, I'd rather get rid of that. Okay, we're fine. Oh. Okay. So we're eight and four. This will make it nine and four if we win. Eight and five, which is still awful. Sheesh. Actually, actually, atrocious. Mm. I don't know if Kate can do that fight, but I'm not a big, big creature. This is not a great draft so far, though, I'll tell you that much. This is actually really bad drafts. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Not fun. 
We might actually, in fact, lose. Uh, well, we're not losing to that. Okay. What? What? What are you doing, my guy? What the heck? I am... I'm confused. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that does that match does not work. Like it just doesn't. Come on. I need you to throw it, my guy. Because arenas are taken care of now, they're, uh, A, B, that's what. Yeah, like, that was, that was stupid. Yeah. I mean, you can technically do it, but no. Like, it's, no. No, it's, it's an awful matchup. It's just straight awful. I mean, you can technically make it work, it's, no. That's a nope from me, dog. Um. I don't know. We shop it? I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Um. That's weird, man. Prowler, really? That actually doesn't surprise me. Uh, that makes perfect sense, actually. I was slow on that, I knew it. Oh, and light bleed, thanks. Oh, it's over. It's over. Any chance I had is gone. We almost had the full decks! Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, we might have lost it now. Fudge! Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was big fumble. Yeah. Uh. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight. We're gonna go straight. Just nuke. You can't see Jard. He has to torch it, which is gonna take a little bit of time. We're just gonna go straight, just Mantis nuke on this. So we need parry. Do do boop 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 boop.
Bro! Get wrecked! Oh, baby! Human mid. <laughs> oh. Broski! Baby, humid torch. <laughs> yeah, too much, too much moisture in the air. Fizzle, fizzle them out. Um, Cha Chang. All right, thirteen matches, nine and four on the day. Get wrecked. We're in the GC, baby. Uh, right now, Zod, what do you, what do you want about? It only took 43 matches to hit the GC, which is not great, but it, it happens. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't. I don't think it looks great, personally. I don't. Some people are like, "Oh, the sass." Like, I think it looks stupid. Um, I don't want to mess with the deck right now. Um, I, I can deal with that tomorrow. Um, I, I think, I think we're done. Cause we need more arena! No, um, I mean, we technically do, but we're literally basically done. Four stars are done. They're not on cooldown yet. I need to do like a partial round here so I can use the rest of them on the alpha and then that arena is done. So, um, yeah, war I still love the Warlock one. One match. For I'd have to make remake the deck. That'll take time. I'll do that later. We can do it one match tomorrow. <laughs> um, we can do matches tomorrow. My recoils are already on. I don't have to put them on. Sad. Yeah, where are you even at, Zod, right now? 37. See, that's close enough. Well, actually, BB at zero is probably not actually close enough. You'd probably have to be like 15 maybe to match me with me at zero. There's gonna be too many people closer that would match me to before it would match me you. You won six on 11, oof. Yeah, that's not great either. I won nine out of, out of 13, which for victory tracks, I mean, it ended up being okay, but like we were four and four. I won five in a row to to get that win. Like we were four wins, four losses. Like it felt terrible. It was it was atrocious. Yeah, I just so many that I should have won. I was just not. Um, it was so bad. Sixteen two fifty units, nice. Then nice. I'm at thirty k. In a bit. It's also very nice. And I've got three point, almost three point four million battleships. Oh, I do have over three point four million battleships. Excuse me. We crossed three point four today. Uh, let's go ahead and get these on refresh again. So it'd be the same. I mean, if if last year's anything to go by, 18 was only half of what you could spend, unit-wise. 
I mean, 18 would be like minimum you'd want to spend, but they'll likely have more than you can spend. Because you could buy through the offers two different times, which was really bad. I'd rather it only like once, but maybe like more. If they if they capped it at maybe like 25k this year, that would be so much better. I would be so happy if they capped it at 25k. I do not want to spend 36k again for for July 4th. It just it was so much. Um, what the heck? Yeah, last year, I might mean, spend it because I wanted the Jessica Jones. Uh, I had the ability to, and I did. I was like, I didn't want to spend that much though, but I did anyway. <laughs> but we did it anyway. Got a little bit of use out of her. We might get some more use out of her now that she's ranked up. Yeah, base pool selector would be so nice. I want a Hulk so bad. Dude, that would be better than like the exclusive. I want a base pool selector crystal for, for maxing out the unit offers. That's what I want. That would be so good. I would love that. I would love the crap out of that. I would get me a Hulk finally. Um, bro. Um, let me look that up. Who else is in there? Is there anybody else in there I would take? Google. Um, MCOC. Uh, seven star base. Cool. Uh, select. Uh, pool. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so skill. Mantis got. We could actually dupe Korg. Dang. I don't think I would take the dupe. We could dupe Domino even. Oh my gosh. No, we want a Hulk though. Um, we want a Hulk so bad. Um, I have everybody in this basic science and Awakened, except for uh, OG Spidey actually, uh, but Hulk. Um, Mystic, I have, uh, Wong, I'm missing Dragon, no, I have Dragon, I'm missing, Mystic, the only one I'm missing is Mangog, um, I'm missing Gore and Gamora for Cosmics, um, the only tech I'm missing is the one I want, uh, with, um, Mysterio. Mutants, I have all of them. I have all the mutant ones. Now, now that I have Domino, I have all the mutants. Uh, and I have... All of the skill now, actually. So how many am I missing then? I'm missing... I have all of mutant and skill. I'm missing one tech, two cosmic, um, one mystic, and Hulk. I'm only missing 5 out of 36 of the base pool. Dang. That's not bad. I have more than 5 6 of the pool. Which is over 80%. Dang. Dang. Shazam. That's wild. No, five, um, top, um, five percent for the for the three K six star shards. I already have I already have a Mephisto, and he's max sig. So, and yeah, no, it wouldn't matter anyway. From the from the the basic, uh, what isn't twenty six anyway? It's only one sig. So, that's a negative. That's a negative. Um, it's five star Mephisto, which I don't really care. That's not for him. It's for the six. Uh, it's three thousand six star shards. Uh, if I got, if I get the five, uh, five to ten, it's ten k. Um, 
um, 10k 5 star shards and 2,000 6 star shards. So it's basically the extra points is basically for an extra thousand. Um, um, six star shards. Now five to ten is route about six million, uh, but to get the but to get the one to five is uh, is a lot higher. A bit higher. But we're almost done with it, so it's not that bad. Yeah, blade, blade, blade would cook him. Yeah. A lot of people do the arena. It's the uh, the free to play uh, place, you know. It's the free to play place. Okay. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I mean Blade is still like pretty strong. I don't I don't think he made like a terrible seven makes a seven, terrible seven star. A lot of time, like it, it did. It, it early, it, it has gotten to be so much, too much at, at points. Um, it's been a while since I've been at that point where I've you know, felt quite that way. Whoa. That's annoying. I'm serious, I'm considering doing Punk too. He looks actually a lot of fun. He looks to be a lot of fun. Oops. It'll be a. Uh, let's see. Toad's a villain, so that should be fine, right? Yeah. Let's do it this way. Yeah, having to go through like so much more of the roster of like, you know, like going super deep through like multiple star levels uh, is brutal. Like, you know, all all the six stars and like, which was already a lot, and then all of. You know, five stars, four stars, even maybe. You know, it's the reason people, some some people have like, you know, um, and doing it like, you know, max times, like, because you can technically run in a single arena. You can run your your six stars. They cool down fast enough. If you keep on it, you can run them ten times in a, in a single arena arena run, um, an arena period. Um, but that's unnecessary to go through that many times. It saves a lot of time. I, six times, twice a day, rather than three times a day. You know, setting an alarm to do it, getting basically no sleep, and waking up early the following, the final morning, to do another run before it ends. Like, that's that's just not good, you know? I mean, it's technically possible. Like, you could put up stupid scores if you did that, you know? But it's just not necessary. 
and I'm very thankful for that because I would never do it. Um, if I couldn't get a champion doing it in, in the twice a day runs, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for it. It's just, it's, it's too much. There's no way I could do it. Well, not, it wouldn't be like impossible, but like I wouldn't want to. And therefore wouldn't. Um, so. And it, it, so it takes less time, yeah. And even less time if you happen to have like, I mean, I obviously don't, but if you have like Arena Express, you know, it, it grinds faster and it saves a little bit of time from extra loading screens and stuff. So, yeah. Like, I could probably do without Prowler, too. But, like, he seemed cool enough. I want to get him. And it's significantly more likely, like, to cause, like, burnout if I were, like... Like doing it this if I was only just doing the champion, I didn't care about the units or anything else from the other arenas, and I only had to spend the time just in the featured arena, it would take so much less time too. But I do care about the other arenas still. I'm not like giving up on those just because I'm doing, you know, the the featured grind. And therefore I'm on top of still spending a base amount of time basically being the same. Um which is already a decent amount of time, and then adding the full grind for the champion on top of it. It's a lot. Um, either way, it would be more, even if I cut out the other ones. But it's just exceptionally higher, leaving them in there. Yeah. 12.50, yeah. It's ridiculous. How did I know that was gonna happen? Because it always happens! Ooh. Right, one more fight, I think. It's one fight, and then this arena's done. We have a Uh, let's see, do I eat the leftovers I made, or do I cook something else? I feel like I should maybe cook something. So I have like two different things of leftovers. I feel like I should. I usually can. Be easy enough. I think I will. I'll think so. I will even. Uh, this ring is done. Okay. Now we need the units from here. Yay! It only takes like six rounds though. And realistically, it only takes like 19 to do all the milestones. But like, it's just not worth the time. If I wasn't doing it a featured grind, I would. Um, I would just do it. Um, but, um,. It's just not worth my time. If I really need the tier one alpha, I'll just buy him for glory. They dirt cheap that way. I I knew I ran into that. Oh uh, man. I knew it! Laggy. Um, I don't know how to fix the lag problem, but the the audio you have to set up an audio input. Whether like in in the audio mixer, you have to have an audio input capture uh, put in there, and then 
attach that, uh, make sure that's linked to whatever you're using for your audio, either whether my, I'm just using the, the, the mic built into my computer, but if you have like, uh, like a separate like microphone or something attachment, um, um, then it would be a different like source, but like you'd have to have an audio input capture and then capture that source for your audio. Um, Um, yeah, I, I, cause I have like a microphone, but with my headphones plugged into my computer, I could never figure out how to actually get it, get the mic to be used for the audio. So I just used the built in for video settings. Uh, not especially, I just have it going directly the, the, uh, the video from the Elgato going to it. I haven't messed with anything else of it. Like it just pops up there and have it, you know, format it to the right size and good to go. I don't, I haven't changed anything. I done not change nothing. There's a lot of settings like you can mess with and everything, but too high? Like your your bit rate? Rate speed was, was too much or something. I mean, you can tweak that if it's if it needs tweaking, just like in the settings. So if you pop open settings, uh, let's see video. Nope. Uh, outputs. Uh, encoder settings. Bit rate. Uh, mine's set to like 6800. and the uh, output settings of the settings. Yeah, so from, from YouTube, I set up like the stream and that gives me like a, a stream to go into and then I just click glow, go live uh, in OBS and then it goes to that, what I've just set up in YouTube. But I set it up in YouTube first. That way, like you set up like the stream, like the title, the description, all that stuff in YouTube first, and then, um, then it'll have like the ready to to start streaming. Your stream is ready, just waiting for you or whatever, and then you start from OBS, and then it, like once OBS is linked to your YouTube, it goes to your YouTube, and then it's there with the title and the setting and stuff. That's how I do it anyway, and it works so. If anybody else does it differently and it works good I that's just what I know how to do for how I make it work so I don't know why I did that I was like oh yeah he's got debuff like he'll just Permanently be taking, be taking damage. Like not even with that much, because like he's regen. Oh my gosh, that's gonna hurt if I let that go through. Uh, if he goes to special three, we're just dead. But well, we're gonna do it anyway. 
Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah, I don't know. That's just that's just how I have it set up. I mean, it makes sense to me that it works that way. If if, it, if somebody else, if other streamers do it differently, I I have no idea. I've never asked, uh, and I'm just not sure if there is like a different way of doing it, or if that's like how you're supposed to. I just know that's the way I can do it, and that's the way it works. So. A second screen, uh, screen? No, that's something you can use um, for like messing around with like different uh, captures for like web pages and stuff uh, to put into OBS for like overlays or to like switch to and stuff. But no, I just have my laptop. I don't have a secondary uh, monitor. I do not. Depending on what you're going for, that can, uh, uh, depending on what you're uh, going for, like what kind of setup you want, uh, like complexity and stuff you want to have, that could be helpful to have like a secondary monitor, but just to make more organization and, and stuff easier. Because um, my, my screen is kind of fluttered with tabs and, and stuff. Because I also just use it for everything non-streaming related too. Um, so I've got like, I don't know, 80 tabs uh, between all the different browsers I have open. a really slow animation that gives you plenty of time to do that. Yeah, it's not it's not overly difficult. It's it's it almost basically self sets it up. Um you just gotta add add the inputs into OBS that you need or that you're using, so like your the the capture um like audio, audio, the audio, uh, the video capture thing, uh, and then OBS is just like the option there, um, or the the Elgato rather is the option there that it just it picks it up um, as that, and then just you know whatever layering order from the sources to make sure what you want is on top, um, and there's obviously like different overlays, and then. You know, I have it set up with different scenes and uh, um, that I have hotkeys set up to, so I can like do the uh, the uh, the, uh, the like the before stream sort of thing. If I if I need extra like setup time or whatever that I'm like wanting to stream but like don't have a setup right, I can do the starting soon thing. transitions and stuff uh, it's not really necessary um, and obviously like the, the, the whole like the replay um, thing as well like go to the replay um, that took a while to figure out to set up though <laughs> and the and obviously the, the be right back as well yeah those are scenes I just have a hot key um, So like this is like my gameplay scene, and then I have it separated by scene to do the other stuff. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. Like my, it's uh, yeah. So so, like the the source the source is the video a video capture device, and then the device is set to the game capture HD 60s, which is what my Elgato is. It's, and then that it just comes up like this, um, and then I just size it down to fit the the output screen. So um and then you can have like um, so right now I have it, I have it muted because I'm like I'm playing music through my computer through my headphones. But if like I, I can unmute that and like that would also go through to the stream as well. You can have like your desktop audio, whatever is playing on the computer itself, go through the through the um, 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 and that's independent of like your computer's actual volume. So you can like have your like computer's volume set to zero if you're not like plugged in set of headphones um so basically it's muted but it'll like it's still like producing the sound to go through the um i think i'm pretty sure because i could go that down to zero it's um yeah it's still the sound is like still going so like i could mute it for myself and not be able to hear it even and it would still go through the stream because it's independent of like your computer's actual volume level And then you can tweak like the decibels or whatever if something's too loud, quiet it down. Um, if it's too quiet though, I don't know how to make it louder than just neutral. Um, that I haven't figured out. <laughs> you can always make it quieter, um, but is like making it louder than like max? I'm not sure uh, how to do that. Because right now I, I could make my audio slightly slightly louder, but after after that, because I have it like set under max at the moment, but like if I set it to max, I'm not sure, or like basically the neutral at zero zero decibels reduction. Because right now I I have my voice set at negative four decibels. I can make it quieter than that, so like it's it doesn't you know whatever. And you can do tweaks to that to you know if so if you'll have like a sharp you know, increase in volume, like a scream or something, it's not gonna like blow the. You can have it like cap decibels on you. There's settings for that and stuff. So if you if you you know peak too high, it's not gonna like blast through too bad. But um, it's all sorts of fun settings. Um, I could figure out a way of doing that. You'd have to ha uh, have it set up with with whatever audio extra audio input capture, and then whatever like if you're on Discord or a computer and like it's going through a computer or whatever, you could just like have it capture that. I guess I don't know. I have never tried it. It dep it would depend on how you have them like on on call. A lot of people I think use either Discord. I think you could probably use Skype even. Um, um, 
I've never used Discord in that in that way, but I imagine you, you could just capture like the Discord uh, input um, and, and it would go through. You'd have to set it up in a way that you could also hear it um, and still have it go through the stream, which I think I would be able to, that would be easy enough, because like, like I have my desktop muted. If it's like going through the computer itself, I'd still be able to hear it. And if I had it set up, um, in that in that way capturing not the desktop so I can hear the desktop you're not um, but then capture it it depends on it like if you have multiple things going if that was the only thing going to the desktop and you just have the desktop you know um, audio and it, that should probably capture it because I would imagine that would be the way to go through so it, it would depend on how exactly you plan on setting it up And look at that, six rounds, units. Cool. And we have how much leeway time? An hour, perfect. And there's three and a half hours on that, cool. But, uh, yeah. If you have any other questions, you just feel free to like ask it online or whatever. Um, I can, whatever, it's fine. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. Um, I'm going to... Who is on right now? Uh, la, 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 la. It's like... Ghost Dog is still working on his 8.4 push. If y'all want to show him some fun support, let's, uh, let's give Ghost Dog a little bit of a... Um, so I'll do that. Let's see what the bam ghost dog doing 8.4. If you want to show him a little bit of support, um, yeah, he's I don't know, well, whatever. Um, but thank you guys. It's been a good stream. We got all the arenas done. The next few days should be a lot less dealing with arena, and we can do. A little bit more fun stuff. Um, get some more BGs and stuff in. That'll be great. Um, but yeah, until next time, peace out. I will catch you all around. Have yourselves a great night. And I will see you around. Peace.